All right, all praise to the most high. We are back with another installment of uh, Man Up Monday, man. It's God. your brother, Gorilla Hebrew. Got Isaiah with me. God, Got Nakamaya with me. And we're picking up kind of where we left off from the other day where we live reacting to this quote-unquote heated debate that uh, Dr. Right. Umar Johnson was there. Who are these guys that he's talking to? The Daily Wrap-Up Crew. The Daily Wrap-Up yeah, Crew. You you sent me that stuff before? A few times, yeah. A few times, yeah. yes, sir. God. Daily Wrap-Up Crew. So he, he's on there talking to the Daily Wrap-Up Crew. God. And, man, it, it gets heated. We see some very severe accountability issues that those brothers are having. Right. Um, and and Dr. Umar Johnson is kind of coming in, um, not kind of, he's coming in directly um, with correction, you know, and with leadership, you right. know, uh, right. and the, the the example of it and, and you know, taking accountability. Right. Uh, we, of course, know women have accountability issues. I don't think there's no argumentation there's no mistakes about that right. i think everybody knows that that's kind of a universal fact okay. right but what's cold is you know when the men start having accountability issues right so what's funny is I, there's a, 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 a last poets is a, is a group that was I don't, I, don't, I don't even say they were popular in the 90s right older brothers kind of spoken word type rap music that they was making conscious and there's a song I always remember them called The White Man Got a God Complex. But they had something, somebody put on a comment board a quote from them from one of their songs um, that I forgot about, right. which was something about, like, in the end, when the women are men and the men are women or something like that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm. So now we have where these men are complaining about women, but they're taking on a woman's approach to it. Because even all this complaining... Yeah. Who does the complaining? Right, right, <laughs> right, right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But women is supposed to be the we know women God, complain. God. We just get stuff done. Yeah. The woman complain, complain, complain. You just sit there and listen and go, okay, so what do you want me to do? Right. right. That's what the men do. Right. Now the men are complaining God. and having accountability issues. Right. What's going on? And it seems like that's what's going on. Um here in this video, before, but real quick, before we even do that, let's talk about this meme real quick too, because this this ties into it. And I just I just saw this meme online today. Um, I sent it to Brother Isaiah, God. and it's it's just crazy because look, look look what this meme says. And a man posted this, I believe. This man, and, and let me just say too, uh, Go ahead. it's a thing, um, and a phrase that I realized uh, is is actually a good phenomenon to hold on to. It's, mm -hmm. it's a good way of, of living to hold on to as a man. You say you don't you don't gripe down, you gripe up. Right? You don't, you don't gripe, gripe down. down, you gripe up. You gripe up. Mm -hmm. Right? It was off a movie uh for the, you know whatever, whatever the actor that played for it go. He said it to one of his comrades. Right? Cuz they was all in the army. Mm -hmm. And so they asking them, they walk in they ask him like, "Why why you don't ever complain?" Like cuz, you know, you can complain to me. I complain up. You saying I gripe up. I'm not griping down, letting you see me all bent out of shape, disappointed, mad about whatever, and I'm taking it, you know what I mean? I'm taking this information. I might feel some type of way about somebody else that's above me, and I'm coming to, to y'all beneath me that can't do nothing about it no ways, mm -hmm. and I'm just coming in, and I'm just spewing all this extra emotional baggage on y'all. Really, as a man... We're not supposed to be griping down no way. That's right. You see what I'm saying? If we their head, they they're, they're not who we gripe to. Exactly. We gripe to the people equal to us as our brothers. Mm. Then we go to our, our elders, and then we go to the most ultimately to the, to, to Yahweh Shai and Yahweh. You that's see what right. I'm saying? So, it, yeah. and that's a great point because what these guys don't realize is that they're feminists in a way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you the way you griping like it's your equal. Right. And I thought exactly. I thought she was subordinate to you. I thought you were the leader and the authority in the situation. So if you the way y'all complain to it, like she equal, like just a, a perfect example of what you're talking about. Yeah. If you struggling right now financially, are you going you gotta struggle to pay bills? Are you complaining to your kids about you struggling to pay bills? Right. You don't no. even want them to you, know. You're never gonna you don't even want your children to know exactly. that something like that is going on. Right? That's usually what a man's approach is. Man, I don't even want my kids to know. I don't even want them to feel that this... You don't go in and gripe to yeah. the children. Okay, well, over the child is the woman. Over the woman is you. Right? right? So in the chain of command, the woman is still subordinate to you. So that's right. also... You're not griping. Oh, these kids, man, damn. They're eating up... Are you telling the kids they're eating up all the food? 
No. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? That's not right. Now the right. kid's feeling bad. Now the kid's starving his damn self. Right. Because right. the kid, the way they process things, oh, damn, I'm eating all the food, yeah. so let me stop eating. Good. They're not even going to be able to handle the information. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> see what I'm saying? So all of it is, is ridiculous. God. That's a great point. Um. Yeah, I just sent you uh, the meme, too, so you can be able to. So it says, uh, fathers say, you can't trust men. The only one, one thing. Uncles say, Boys are trying to play you. Cousins, you better not be dating those boys. Brothers, they just want to get inside your pants. So this is what girls are being told their whole life from the men in their life. Different relationships with men in their life, yeah. Then the girls go, men are trash, and the men, it says, men collectively gasp. How could you say that? Right. Well, only because that's the only thing that y'all been telling me God. my whole life God. is about y'all, and now God. we mad. Right. That they're saying what we've been saying yeah. <laughs> to them. Okay. All of the exemplary men in her life, the men that she go to for understanding about men, right? Guidance. The all the men she interact with primarily from her adolescence up. Damn. <laughs> all tell her <laughs> men ain't shit. Yeah. Right, that's and a conclusion. And different you come reasons to. on why men ain't shit. <laughs> right, and like I was saying, like they projecting. The things that they were doing to women, onto all of men in general. Yeah. And now she says the same exact general statement, and now the general populace of of men is just like, damn, where where you get that information, where that mm-hmm. idea from? Mm-hmm. Like you can't really think that whole time. Now nah, this shit's been ingrained into her mind. Yeah. 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 I mean, very much. So yeah. we and, and this goes back to what you know, Doctor Umar was saying in. We look at their selection. Look at what we've created. Look right. at what we've cultivated. We've right. not given them much of a choice. Right. These women do realistically not have a great selection of men, especially when we start talking about the ratio. I heard somebody say, I don't know if this is true. I have to fact check it. I heard that Atlanta is 20 to 1 right now. Damn. The Atlanta Metro is 20 to 1 right now. That's what I heard. I don't know if it's true or not. I want to take a look. Matter of fact, uh, <laughs> twenty to one, bro. But that that also goes into you know what I'm saying how the media paint men to express themselves. Where it's certain things you shouldn't just express. And you remember the, the body video he put out, right? God. And how he was saying like even this goes for your house too. But when he was speaking as far as people in authority, like the officers of fifteen, yeah. you know what I'm saying the captains, the sergeants, and By stuff like orders. that. When you look at those people, they have to have something. Right. Something to make you snap into reality on why the most high put you in that position. And a lot of men lose that going back to the point of how when we're in a certain when we're in a household, you don't want to tell your kids that you're struggling because you lose your superpower. Right. Right. A lot of men lose their superpower to the woman because they give them so much power in their life. And just so much information. It's too much. Like you say, you know, familiarity breeds contempt. Mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. see what I'm saying? So the the idea of all she knowing you to be is the mother that get stuff done with and if somehow, some way, right? Without all the complaining, without having her, with without adding the stress on to her, that is something that creates that dynamic of you know, uh, what you say, compatibility, like right. permanent compatibility between y'all. You right. know what I'm saying? Versus taking the information and giving it to her. Now she see this, and she see you, when she see you start to stress and stuff like that, like you don't supposed to let her see you sweat like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because they, like you say, you lose your superpower. Your kid's supposed to look at you, your wife's supposed to look at you, like the guy that just... Like, how did you pull it off? Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like, it, it never fails. This man always on some miraculous shit. Right. The whole time she in there stressing... No matter how much you stressing, you can't show that to her or them. You see right. what I'm saying? You so, just got to let her know it's cool. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't, you know, uh-uh. And when it's not okay, not. don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Nigga going to take care of it. Right. And, 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 and it's, like, it's so crazy, right? I was just reading through the Spirit, Jeremiah 9. And they say, basically talking about how men don't need to be glorying in themselves anyways. Right. He's like, he that glory of, glory of not in himself. But in, in Yahweh, you see what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, give all glory to Yahweh, ultimately. You see what right. I'm saying? So in them situations where you seem like a superhuman, it's a perfect opportunity to teach faith yeah. and resilience exactly. through the strength it's of the, the most high. high. Yeah. Right. You see what I'm saying? To your family and stuff Ooh. like that. 
which which that that brings me to a uh, um, a beautiful video I, I dearly departed brother sinful the p made okay. about he went into first samuel 30 and 6 mm -hmm. and he said david encouraged himself yeah in the lord in though the lord. so this was a time when yeah. david was going to battle against the amalekites amalek smote the whole city of of uh in judah and took it into captivity. Okay. Mm -hmm. The whole city. Didn't yeah. kill one person. Took right. it into captivity. Yeah. Everybody was mad. They was finna stone David over that. Mm -hmm. And they said, and David encouraged himself. Yeah. You know, and that's kind of, it's funny, the last 48 hours, what I've been doing, you know, thing that kind of cries out, I'm just, I'm just looking within. <laughs> I'm looking to encourage myself right now. Okay. I'm not looking for anything outside of course, right. except the most high. Right. 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 And what he's bestowed, you know, the power in which he's bestowed. And you know that's that that self encouragement okay. um is important, but it's still in the Lord though. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You're encouraging yourself in the Lord. We're okay. thinking about what the Lord has done for you in your life and what the Lord has revealed you and how the Lord has operated with different people throughout the you know, the totality of the scriptures that you've seen. Right. And you know, you encouraging yourself in that, okay. right? Um, that's oh that's important and that's that's like you said, it's a great teaching moment to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, I think that's the job about basically like fighting depression, but finding a way to fight depression or like you said, on your own, mm -hmm. on like your through own. the Most yeah. High. Don't without having don't, any don't coping mechanisms. Humans. You don't need humans. In, any to any do coping this. mechanisms. Yeah. Any any crutches, right? You know, because sometimes what will people do? Drinking attach themselves drugs. to somebody. Yeah. They'll get drunk. They'll get high. They'll eat. Right. They'll do anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. to, but when you can bite down and just it's coming yeah. from you. Yeah. Then what? Do you don't God. need. You're not dependent upon anything else. You see exactly. what I'm saying? And, Go ahead. I was just saying, and, and just like Sirach say, the simple thing on, on dealing with oppression is don't think about it. God. It literally tell you in Sirach. Think not yeah, on this. Flee away from those those heavy thoughts. Exactly. Con. It so it basically Con. said, let it go. Con. And that's why you know brothers like you know Andrew Tate and all these people, they don't believe in depression. They right. think it's a choice. Con. You are deciding to sit there and think about yeah. the the sorrows that you have to go through. Exactly. It is a choice. Exactly. It's a choice. Yeah, it's a choice. Ultimately, it is a choice. Depression is not a real thing. It's a choice. Con. You know, so that's what how they put it. Con. You know, so of course those feelings are there. Right. But you being stuck in it yeah, is not a, yeah. a a thing that. You have to go take medication for anything like that. Yeah. You just have to stop thinking about it. Yeah, you got to detach. Exactly. You got to detach from your emotions. And that's the thing with, like, I, I encourage all men, uh, especially to uh, all humans in general, but men specifically, to learn about stoicism. You see what I'm saying? Um, and that's another thing that Andrew Tate talked about, too. Like, stoicism, I have been new about from philosophy, but hey, stoicism. Get that watch off, yo. You got your, a piece of your. Legit do that. Word. There you go. Boom, I'll pray. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Um, you good. Con, but stoicism is basically like, you know, um, giving way to the divine reason. Um, it's your approach to life, your disposition in life, stuff like that, versus allowing yourself to be attached to emotions and stuff like that. It's teaching you how to detach from emotions, you know what I mean, and not being necessarily apathetic, but empathetic up until the point where you realize, okay, boom, this is how I feel. All right, that's how I felt. Now, now let me move on. And basically, how a man applied is know when that masculinity is presented. Right. You know what I'm saying? So all battles aren't uh, worth fighting, basically. Uh, war, war, good warfare. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Warfare. So that's when, you know, he was uh, talking about how, you know, you use masculinity to protect, to, you know, uh, prevent right. all of these things. That's when you need to exemplify it. But when you just act out on emotion, yeah. you're not using stoicism. You, you use an emotion. Yeah. You, you feed into the depression. You are worried about mental health and, and all of this crap that they have made up due yeah. to these weak people not knowing how to control themselves. God. Okay, so I'm, I'm just I'm over here doing a deep dive just on the, to get the demographics right. So the overall is, uh, I, it, is it, it, the, uh, the overall is 52.2% male female in the metro Atlanta area and yeah. 40 i think 47.8 percent male but where the thing becomes a surplus at in between from the ages of 15 to 39 that's that majority yeah from from the ages of 15 to 39 women it's 
it, the the difference is drastic. Yeah. Right. So the reason why, of course, because you're looking at the dating pool, 15 to 39. So the dating pool is going to be, you know, yeah. early 20s okay. to the late thir- two thirty nine. Right. That dating pool right. is where the the predominant of the influx is, right. where the t- the scales are tipped a lot more. Right. Right. So so that's why it seems like there's so many more women um than men. Yeah. Because. In our count. in our demographic, yeah. it's way more women than men. Come. It's more because, like I said, it's it's overall it's only a little bit more. Yeah. But in our demographic, right, twenties and thirty black yeah. people is drastic. The ones whose time it actually is right now. Yeah, whose time it, it is. It actually, it's, it's, <laughs> so it's just so yeah. many women. You Come. know what I mean? It's just Come. an abundance of women. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. And uh, what, what were we saying? Oh yeah, and Salak. It's crazy, right? Because we're talking about having to find it within yourself. Um and encourage yourself and all three of us we are Nazarites mm-hmm, yeah so we don't have the crutch of alcoholism and yeah, stuff like that like we, a lot we, of people yeah, do. like a lot of people don't do believe in drugs <laughs> don't, don't, can't do drugs anyways <laughs> you know what I mean etc cetera, etc cetera. so it's like we already have a few things that gear a, a, a particular thing in this vow that we all took with the Most High to say like, okay we gonna we gonna put our head. Uh, you know, under the the uh, consecration of the Most High, mm-hmm. and He gonna be our strength. You see come, what I'm saying? Come. Through yes, all sir. these things, so yes, sir. Yeah, it's powerful, bro. Yes, sir. Let's uh, let, let's get off into that, man. Let's. Oh, uh, it's time for the reaction. Pick up, pick up on this reaction, man, because uh, you know, Dr. Omar speaking mighty and powerful in the spirit. Come. Yeah, he was on one this time. I ain't gonna hold you. Let me see if I can find a good start point. You got to go back to the point where. Uh, that that right right before that part. That still don't give me a right to disrespect her. This is where we left off. Yeah, right there. Uh-huh. We love her. So, so I think that's a, a, a unfair representation. He said, "If I'm looked at as resources, mm-hmm. there's a segment of women that simply look at men as resources. That's a segment, right? A small segment. That cert- you certainly can't characterize black women as a whole right. as looking at you as resources. Everything in life defies that. Right. The fact that black women have earned more than black men, or are beginning to earn more on average than black men." And things that, but but to hell with the earning, to hell with the statistics. Sometimes we got to just think about what you know. Yeah. What you know, what you know, what I know. What Mm -hmm. we have lived, what we've experienced in our time growing up, we've seen situations where black women are carrying the weight for black men in in relationship, though. Mm -hmm. So they're not being looked as resource. So the reason why resources have been so emphasized in conversations in the realms of dating with black women is because so many of them grew up seeing men without the resources. Right. So now they're making it known from the d- jump the resources need to be it are matters. a key here. It matters. Right. Because right. because the the, gir- the women before us, a lot of them didn't give a damn about the resources. Right. Right. And we saw to what that happened. To a fault. To a fault. And, and, and that's what that... Like, but, <laughs> but, but it's like, how can you not understand this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How yeah. do you not see this? Like, I mean, come on. Like, we weren't... Even when I was young and older dudes... That I was growing up around, n- niggas was trying to steer niggas in that direction of right. use women for get their it, resources. Get it, out, yeah. get it out the bitch. That's yeah, all yeah. Memphis do. You That's I mean, if you listen Break to on f- bitches, if you listen to finesse two time, it's yeah. all about breaking and, and, on the bitch. And even yeah. if you're not into that lifestyle of of, of pimping, yeah. the, but there's an influence the of that lifestyle. Of and like you said, y'all are from Memphis. Memphis, yeah. is, there's certain cities that have that. Southern yeah. California, the whole California is like that. Yeah. It's, it's got a, a that type of the pimp culture, mm-hmm. right? A lot of niggas I know have yeah. it tried their hand. A lot of girls I know right. were hoes. You know right. what I'm saying? Just 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 tried it growing up, right. shit like that. It was so regular, normalizing our, in the culture in those specific areas. So that's there. So that was, but you know, as I grew older, when I was a teenager, I was into that because, right. of course, we didn't have no resources. We had right. no way to even get our hands on a goddamn resource. You see right. what I'm saying? Right. But as you mature, you like, 
Man, hell nah. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's not yeah. right. Cause like I said, when I ain't grow up, when I growing up, I didn't, you know, that uh uh in my household, okay. I didn't witness that. That was something I learned outside of my household. You right. see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that whole idea of just basically draining women of their resources yeah. and then mm-hmm. moving on, right. throwing them out and moving yeah. on. These women have experienced or witnessed that to right. a point where now nah, we need to know from the gate. There needs to be you. You have and, to be resourceful. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It ain't, no, ain't no misusing, abusing going on. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah, yeah. dude's song literally say breaker, fucker, leaver. Yeah, exactly. That's it. Break Come a fuck up, leave it. Come back and do it again. Charging these hoes like, like a, a black visa. visa. <laughs> hey, it's crazy. It's crazy, right? Because uh, <laughs> ultimately, it, it, it boiled down to you know, even though motherfuckers not trying to be pros with it, yeah. you know, it's a lot of boyfriend pimping. A lot of boyfriend. That's pimping what it is. On. That's uh-huh. the term for it, for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot yeah. of boyfriend, boyfriend pimping. pimping. Yeah. Uh-huh. And you want to know what's crazy about that finesse two time situation? He got BBJ. You know what group BBJ a part of? The Savages. You know what they number one song on the record is? Break a nigga, break him. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, is <laughs> that nigga getting broke by her right now. <laughs> Come no, on, you know now. He is. Come on. I mean, yeah. she bringing money to the table. She a hell of a hairstylist. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. She yeah, was pulling resource, in some weight. But dude, dude definitely... You know, he, he, he doing his he, thing. He's spending he money. Come on now, you got down. BBJ niggas in the city mad behind you. <laughs> <laughs> you got BBJ now. In, in, in a poly situation, you know. What I'm in saying? a poly, in poly situation, and shout out to him for it. Shout out to him, right? But we got to remember, what are they teaching the kids though? Because a lot of times these guys are living lifestyles that they not. This ain't the lifestyle they. He ain't on the records talking about all his girlfriends all the time. No. Yeah. he's talking about pipping on home. That's the only he thing. He ain't talking, talking about, about the poly. Yeah. See them poly bars might hit different. You God. come out with them poly bars. God, God. You say instead, what he, are you teaching? You know, he's still he's still trying to get out of everything he wrote. Yeah, yeah, I know. I feel it. No, no, no. So no, you're right. You're right. Give me jail. Give me jail bars. Give me jail bars for sure. Give me jail bars for sure. But it's just a fact that you got like I said. The savages Break a nigga Break him That's yeah. a result of Break a fucker Leave Or you know what I'm saying Yeah they been breaking pimp. us So we gonna break And of course right. let, Let's get it Let's make sure We're clear here Have there always been women Who have that type of um, You know Sinister intentions And mentality Right 1000% There's that's, always been so... women Like that But The buddy is to take That small fraction And then paint The majority as it yeah. That's where we start going wrong, and now you engage in women, and they're like, "Nigga, that's not me." <laughs> yeah, do what I'm gonna say. I ain't gonna say it's a small percentage. I'm gonna say majority of them got the gene. They got the gene, but been socially engineered to not do it. Okay, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. They all got yeah. the gene. They all, they got, all the gene. got. They all got the ability. We not. You know I mean? Yeah, no, they all got then the we ability. Gonna, we gonna give them if they, 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 if, if, they want, if they want to turn it on. It, it usually just be like you said, the social engineering. Right. They got some type of moral switch, cut, and cut. they just not gonna do yeah, it. Yeah, a lot of them been raised in certain type of you know religious mm-hmm. backgrounds, stuff like that. To yeah, that's wrong. Now, now they thinking. All right, I, I, they, at least they got a conscience about it. Yeah, but it's, it's possible though. It definitely is possible. Come on, they just got a conscience. All praises for the conscience and some. We're gonna do it like like the girl like for example, um, this you you might have a girl who she might not take it as far as, uh, you know just trying to just break a nigga, right. you know get up in there and break a nigga. But you know this same girl she might, you know go to the you know go out, go to a bar, go to a nightclub, get free you know get her free drinks all night, right? And then that'll be it. You know yeah. what I mean? So she did break that dude. God. Exactly. It's not as sinister, you, you know saying? what I mean? Right but, so. but, yeah. she, but, but, but she broke on but him. Broke. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> and, and, and knew for a fact it was no intent of of anything. For, exactly. I'm exactly. just. I'm so they got the gene. It's just it's, she just approaching it in a no, different way. In a different way. And, can, and it's I, level. Okay yeah, 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 exactly. If exactly. you allow that to happen, then you lost it. It's your fault. You mm-hmm. see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then you got the young other girls, K. Carbon, and all of them. K. Carbon. What's the other girl name? Glitter gloss. Glitter gloss. Yeah. What's the other name? Aliza, and I forget the other one. They got that Shabuya song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the road and you heard mm-hmm. uh, K Carbon, they bragging about taking bitches' niggas. I mean, they, they. I trust Wiz in the club <laughs> and bitches. And she said, like, left the nigga for his big homie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Left the nigga for a big homie. Then she said, uh, now she crying in her pillow. Whole silly hoes mad. Made him do that. 
uh, give me all his cash, broken damn bad, broke bitch. Damn bad. Like <laughs> these females are a result yeah. of Gorilla Pimp, Good. Three yeah. Six Mafia. Good. They they just for Steve Harvey told them to do what? Think like, think, like think like a man. Think like a man. They took yep. that to heart. They no, they definitely took that to heart. Like they start doing it. <laughs> it's sick as hell. I was, I was say so, man. <laughs> it's such, oh. such a sick environment is be great, but we have to understand the role that we play. In creating it was crazy. So a brother that came on the comments. I'm I'm agree with you. A brother that came on the comments and he was like, um, yeah, but okay, well who who created the men that are like this? Right. Uh, I said, I said, oh, listen, brother, we ain't talking about that though. Yeah. We're not talking about who made us like this. Right. Right? We're talking about what we can do to stop being like this. Right. To identify the problem we currently is because right. bro, we, we we're not gonna stop the fact that, that Esau has degenerated us. Yeah. We understand that and I always love to do this. If we just turn the clock back five hundred years. Right. If we go back to how the societies were being ran in West Africa in North Central and South America before the white man came in. Right. You don't see any of this. Right. Right. At all, right? Right. So, so, who's who? What changed? Oh, the white man. Yeah. He came in. He put his fingers in the pot, right? And he degenerated everything. Okay. We know that, and right. we're not going to change him, right? And and on a different video, on a different topic, we'll talk about what he did. Okay. But this is not the purpose of Man Up Monday. Yeah. The purpose of Man Up Monday is for us to go. How can we right. change this right. now? Yeah, it's a think tank. Yeah, that's yeah, it. It's a think it's tank. A think tank. Yeah. And, and uh, 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 one of the, I think it was Charles and White made a good point talking about how, nigga, you you free now. You got all the game. You know who you are. You can say you're a Hebrew. You can make say you this. You can say you that. You come back from Africa. Nigga, at this point, it's voluntary. It's not uh, uh, a forceful situation yeah. no more As far as what you're doing in that regard yeah. For sure they, 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 You don't have to keep We don't have to keep being like this Nah <laughs> Niggas don't <laughs> I was gonna, Niggas don't We do not have to be like <laughs> we that We don't keep having that And that was the point It wasn't that We can free ourselves It mm -hmm. was the fact that We can literally Put ourselves on the game That we already know yeah. We are infiltrated enough yeah. To stop being a docile to right. ourselves right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Stop killing ourselves Stop yeah. doing all these things to ourselves God. And that's the point That the brother trying to we, make we, we, What we caused can, this yeah. We, we, we can, can become better this. leaders Yeah we, we, can, we can become better leaders Make raise better men Be examples Be better examples To, right. to more men right. Um and you know, begin to gen and give women a better selection of men to choose from. Right. You see exactly. what I'm saying? Once and, you and, fix and that. Is, and the thing is, like, uh, like I always say, everybody, like you said, he got. We got to the point where everybody know what's up. So everybody know what it take, but everybody don't do what it take. Exactly. And that's the difference. It's just about applied knowledge. Individualism. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, exactly. Motherfuckers ain't gonna take the knowledge and apply it. So you know, <laughs> we gonna find ourselves with motherfuckers that instead of applying knowledge, they are gonna keep pointing the finger. Yeah. And Esau. Or her, you mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? And never at they self. Never at they self. Never at they self. And, and that ain't manhood, man. Mm -hmm. It's and, just not. And, it, it, and what I was finna say earlier, it was uh, sometimes it ain't about really what she want. It ain't about what she want, it's about what you want. It's about what she react to. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Okay. If you see what she react to, okay, cool. Boom, she reacts positively to this, negatively to this. Sometimes you gotta, you like you say, become all things uh, for for all people that you might gain them more. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what she reacts to. Let me do this just long enough for me to get that proper reaction, and then use positive reinforcement. You see what I'm saying to get the desired outcome. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying it's about figuring out what she react to well and what she don't. Instead of just seeing her for what she is, what she done became. And saying, oh well, she'll never change. Nah, nigga, she some it's some some positive things that she'll react to positively. You see what I'm saying? You just gotta figure man, those things out. The 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 incomparable Andre Taylor, man, he did a video called No Woman Comes Ready Made. <laughs> no woman comes ready made. She's not gonna be ready made. Yeah, You're sorry. gonna see certain things, it's like, okay, that's good. I ain't gotta work on that, that, yeah, that, and that. God. But 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 you have when you get a woman, you have to mold you gotta, her yeah, mold in lady. your likeness. God. You have to, so you, she's never gonna come ready made. That's right. That's right. <laughs> it is, so you can't let that you deter you. Them, you man. you got to put the breath of life God. in that woman, God. bro. You God. got to, God. right? But if you're not a leader, you're not going to have the ability right. to. And that's what some of these niggas is running into. The problem with the fact that they don't have the yeah, ability to it. to impress upon, to imprint upon, God. to mold this woman. God. And damn it, they, they, that's some yeah. of the problem. Yeah, because, like, you know, 
Hey, we got we do gotta get back to it. <laughs> but you know, they talk about, you know, the imprint. Like the woman, her first per the first person she give her body to, yeah. like whatever type dude he was, mm -hmm. the first person that broke her heart, whatever type dude he was, is the type dude she gonna be chasing for the rest of her life. Mm -hmm. And so since she gonna be chasing that type dude for the rest of her life, it's like if all she grew up major if all the majority of the women that, you know, we won't you know what I mean? They they got the, the look that we want or whatever. You see what I'm saying? If all they been imprinted upon was a fucked up type nigga, uh, she chasing is a fucked up type nigga. Mm -hmm. So now, like, niggas feel like, uh, you know, I ain't, I ain't going to never get that. Like, I'm not going to have her fully. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to have her full. I might have her, but she might be just want me for the resources like some people might think. Uh -huh. But that's because you're not able to really re-imprint, so to say. You see what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. And, that, and that's the thing, too, though. People act like you can't put a, a new imprint on somebody or something mm -hmm. like that. You see what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, you, you, you definitely can re-imprint, and there, there's uh, there, there's just so much. Let's just press yeah. play, man. It's, 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 it's so much. <laughs> Slug, so that man voice sound like he whining. <laughs> no, <yeah. laughs> like, that's all I'm so angry. And it's like, it's like, and, and 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 this be my thing with like he played thirty. He talking about her her access her access to money. His access to money is quicker than like that. If you if you think if you got a bitch who's just gonna leave you just because they can get money yeah, a little faster leave. than you, man. Like, for, uh, what type of bitch are you dealing with, yeah, man? That's yeah. even thinking like that. Like, yeah. hey man, he didn't can get money. You know, he gets paid every Friday. I get paid every other Friday. She left me for the nigga. Yeah. Like, okay. damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's yeah. the type. That's that's the that's the woman that that, that you're looking for. Okay. Again, like it's yeah. it's so crazy. So let's say you got you got leagues, you got calibers, right? In in this in this in this game of life that we're playing, right? Okay. And there might be a certain woman that she feel like, hey, look, if a nigga ain't bringing home a quarter million, right. if a nigga's not a millionaire, if the niggas ain't in the entertainment industry or an athlete. Or some rich ass nigga I'm not dealing with. Entrepreneur. Oh, okay. Right. Let's say she's aiming for that, right? But when she gets, when she now puts herself in that league, right? Right. She's still meeting the individuals in that league and dealing with w w what she likes. Mm -hmm. We ain't talking about her sugar daddy. Right. We're not talking about them. Like we're talking about the niggas that she's actually getting involved with. Right. She put herself in a ballpark right. of ball players as ballers. Right. But she still has to meet these and actually like these guys right, and right, connect right. with these right, guys. Right, right, right. So even though resources <laughs> is a part of her motivation, it's still not everything. It's not or else, all. or else, because there's rich lame ass <laughs> niggas that's still not getting bitches out here Cunt. every day. Niggas that just fact. going, just just flashing. Nigga have pull out ten racks cash. Cunt. Have every inch of him is covered in right. designer with the tag right. hanging out. Right. Right. <laughs> so right. you know the price, and the bitch is still not. Fucking Cunt. with them. Cunt. Right. Because that's a part of the deal. Cunt. But that's not all of the deal. Right. And now, let's stop. Let's reverse. Some might say, well, what the money going to do with it anyway? No more. Everybody want to have a standard can have it. Right. If you want a girl that look a certain way. Yeah. You just want a girl that look that way. Are you now wrong? Now you're superficial because it's about looks to you. Right. You're shallow. See, see, the looks and the resources, that's like the... The, the same for us, for men and women. Right. Looks and resources are on that same level. Right. right? How we look at looks is how they look at resources. Because exactly. women will compromise yeah. what they find attractive. Mm -hmm. We know that. Mm -hmm. They'll deal with a nigga that really they, he, you know. A medium ugly Medium nigga. ugly nigga. <laughs> they'll take it. Cut. It's cool. And they'll love the fuck out of a medium ugly nigga Cut. to them. Cut. You see what I'm saying? Us? That shit tough. That's tough. Yeah. That's a tough one. Yeah. I mean, I can't do it. God. You know what I mean? So, God. so and, 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 a, a, a nigga that respect himself, I don't feel like can do it. God. Right? God. So, and understand, most niggas I know who do it are niggas who don't want to, and they want to have a woman with the resources. Yeah, so, they, they've compromised the look so they can <laughs> take benefit of the <laughs> right, resources. Right, right, right. <laughs> so, in understanding that, th that be what killed me too about all this criticism about the women who liking the resources. Right. Because here you are about the resources, you know you you she, you mad that she care about the resources, but you right. care about the looks. Yeah, and if it if if we if we're not equal, 
and you're supposed to be the person, the head of the house. So she's supposed to look for the resources. That's the whole thing. That's the contradiction That's the right there, thing. huh? Yeah. Like when like, when is it bad to be used for resources? Yeah, like it's, I can, like you said, and then this is what I be telling my women. Like, okay, I don't got a problem being used. I'm here to be used. If you can't be used, you're useless. You can't be used. You what? Yeah. What a I, you know a woman taught me that saying, and I said that saying? is a hell of a saying yeah, right you there. Can't be used. You're useless. You're useless. So I ain't, I'm not a useless nigga. Yeah, that's right. So if you're gonna use me, use me properly. That's right. Just don't misuse me. Don't yeah. abuse. Don't me. Don't abuse me. Because because yeah. then I'ma see it and I'ma react differently. You because they saying? choose the game. Yeah. They abuse the game. Yeah. Then they then lose they the lose game. The game. Once, you, once you abuse <laughs> it, you lose once it. Once you abuse it, you fucking lose it. It's only one option. They just lose mm. it. You see what I'm saying? Mm. So that's and, and that's what I say. So a brother coming with the idea first that he want a traditional woman, and then immediately behind that saying, "But I don't want her to look for me, look at me for my resources." Well, if you didn't have a choice in picking a woman, her parents would have chose you predicated upon well, your, your family's your, resources. Your resources, and period. Your resources. That's the only reason that's you would have got her anyway. That's the tradition of the world. Con. So, so you might want to be, you know. Re-examining They not traditional they bro not These traditional. ain't no traditional no, but men But also they're, 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 they're bitches man yeah. They're yeah. modern women oh, They're modern women They're the modern women, women. <laughs> it, it, it is <laughs> though okay, okay. Because, because, because like a It's a matter of women Because it's okay. like You start You start becoming a woman With this unrealistic List of expectations okay. Exactly that you have. Okay. Standards okay. Standard. They okay. put it in standards okay. She has to be traditional But she can't want me For money But wait That's ridiculous bro <laughs> Those two things That don't go together sir That's ridiculous And when you hear yeah, some of these standards It's like bro You are a bitch for real yeah. Yeah. What remember kind of Chili, fucking standards You remember you Chili uh, uh, From TLC When she was doing yes. her thing He can't eat pork He's gotta be Which is great Great standard But yeah. you know all the, She had all the standards A list of shit And then yeah. it was like You are never gonna find somebody She ended up marrying A damn white man Yeah <laughs> That's tough and I, don't, and, and I don't know Whether or not He really met the met standards the Or not exactly. You know what I'm exactly. saying But exactly. but these guys They start Listen Again, they, she's got to be. She's got. <laughs> she's she's got to be traditional, but she can't care about resources. Yeah. She gotta right? be submissive. She, she's got to be. She's got to be a submissive homemaker housewife, yeah. but a porn star who also it, it has a good career. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's a hell of a person, man. Yeah. She's watching the kids. She's changing diapers. She's washing dishes. Yeah. She's she's cooking. But after she done worked all day, and then she's expected to have the kids in bed by ten yeah. and turn in to Roxy Reynolds. Yeah. <laughs> Immediately. Yeah. Immediately. That's crazy. What the fuck are you talking about? Hey, hey for the rest of her life. <laughs> Every that's day, crazy. and that's what the rest yeah. of her life looks like, <laughs> brother. I don't yeah, know if that's realistic here. That's nah, not, bro. I think I think you have. I think you need to go get a. Yeah. Uh, remember, we are science. They had the robot. They created the <laughs> robot girl. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, nah, that, that's that's some crazy stuff right there. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. We, we couldn't even get five seconds yeah. here, man. <laughs> he, he stopped it so fast. Whining. Like, nigga, whining. This nigga whining. Crying. Right now. Yeah, damn. Well, I'm crying. glad I'm glad y'all reacted to it because y'all going to be very impressed with how in the spirit this Dr. Umar is. Oh, praise. Let's get it. Uh, no, one, I agree with you, but that's not all sisters. No, it's not. It's and not. And if you're constantly you running into that type of woman, yeah, it's then the problem true. is you. Because you're attracting a certain low vibrational energy. Why yeah, why, is why that? Why that same energy for the, for women? You just you just again you have because the man we have a conversation as men. Yeah, I got I got plenty of interviews with all women where I check them too. All right, but as right. a man, you should not be concerned about what I say to them. Mm. No, as mm. men, we should be concerned of what we're going to do. To produce a better generation of black males for tomorrow. That we say, That's yeah. the only... That, mm -hmm. that is where we should be focused. Women bring the choice of life, right? We understand that, right? I can't have a... a Hello. Go ahead. What's up? Man? You got to let it keep playing. <laughs> I'm sorry. You okay. got to let it keep playing. I'm, I'm about to. Why not agree or disagree with what he just said, though? You know. He just moved past just it. Moved past. He had to try to breathe past moved. it. He talked about women bring the choice of life. Yeah. First off... And, <laughs> so like, go ahead, man. You came in her, sir. Yeah. Yeah, that's why. Look, 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 I love this live reaction, bro. <laughs> look, I love this live reaction. Cause look, he's saying the stuff that I was reacting to. Like I'm reacting to it. Yeah. He's saying it, and then yeah. Doctor Umar, Umar just coming with, with the yeah. hammer, right? Good. So it, it's so crazy because it's like, okay, bro, women have the choice of life. All right, and what's crazy is when you think about what he's saying. He's talking about after you had sex, yeah. this bitch can kill this baby. Yeah. yeah. 
why are you even giving her the opportunity, opportunity. to even kill the baby? Right. Mm -hmm. Without you could have just not did it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. and then, and then when you take a look at abortions, let's you 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 seen them statistics before? Um, reasons for abortions. Right, reasons why this is this that's old though. That's two thousand and five. Okay, this is two thousand and two. Um, what are the different reasons to have an abortion? I wanna take a look at these statistics. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, all reasons uh, oh, shit. uh two, okay, ninety three point one percent of abortion occurred in the first trimester. Uh Reasons people seek. Okay, around 40% of people in the study mentioned a financial reason. So almost half hmm. has to do with resources. resources. A lack of resource right. being the actual motivation for the abortion. Right. Um, yeah, because they get surveyed. Yeah, they ask them. They ask them, like, why, why are you making this decision? Lack of resource. Then yeah. look, 40% financial. 31%, almost a third of the study respondents, gave reasons relating to their partner. Oh, my God. For example, <laughs> some individuals said they did not have a good or stable relationship with their partner or that their partner was unsupportive. And remember, so now we're at 71% of abortions. Yeah. yeah. And we know that we make up, or our women make up the, what, 70-something percent of abortions? God, God, easily. So this is the average reason why our women don't, it, uh, uh, get abortions, the choice lack of, of life, resource. lack of resource, and unstable relationships. Both two to things, the yeah, two both, both things, to the men. Yeah. Two things men can control. Yeah, can control. Yeah, before and, and, before and, and get a hold on before, before you start shooting this shot. <laughs> Listen, I remember Gosh, when I was eighteen. Crazy, when I was eighteen, and I got my girlfriend pregnant, she ended up having a miscarriage. But I was 18, I had my girlfriend pregnant, I talked to my big brother, and I was like, man, I don't know what happened. He said, nigga, you know what the fuck happened. Yeah. Because my, my big brother, he had a baby when he was 18. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Fresh out of uh, high school, or in high school still. And um, he's like, you know what the fuck happened. You, right. know, you know what you did. Right. You <laughs> consciously decided to yeah. ejaculate in this one. <laughs> right. You know exactly what you did. Right. Right. <laughs> Let's be real. All you niggas knew what you did. Okay. And but you did it to a woman that you had that you were unsupportive of, right. or you were in an unstable relationship with, right. or did not have the resources to provide for you, so you had no business coming to her in the first place. Right. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Right. So, <laughs> no, you, yeah. you, you yeah. have the choice of life. Okay. Yeah. So you basically killed seventy percent of babies. Man, Damn. that's crazy. That's crazy, right? Nah, that's crazy as hell. That that seventy percent right there is a bomb on niggas. Though. <laughs> That's a bomb on niggas. That's crazy. You can't blame nobody else, nigga. You and not only, not only, not only is it right, right. That's the reason she's in there. Uh huh. That's also the reason, the the, the main reason that she's in there. After I'm sure having a conversation with your ass to see if you was gonna at least be willing to try to up your Annie on what you doing in life right now. To make her more sure that, okay, maybe I can decide to just go ahead and, and keep the baby. Now, look at this. Amazing you said that. Look at this. When, I'm trying to think. I think it's when my, my when Azariah was was um, was uh, uh, in the womb. Azariah was, when she was, when I was pregnant with Azariah, her friend, right? A uh, girl I know for years. I probably know that girl. She was like 15 years old. Yeah. Um, and when I met her, she had just had an abortion at 15. Hmm. Um, and so this girl, she had got pregnant, right? She had got pregnant and she's messing with this dude. She had got pregnant. So we had, uh, we had went up to the welfare office with her. We had took her up to the welfare office right. and, um, you know, here she's talking about having this baby. She's talking about it. Like, you know, boom, boom, I'm going to do this and that. And, ah, uh, well, she gets an abortion the next day. Mm. Because she texts dude that she's pregnant, totally just blocks her on everything. Nah, that was the response to that nah. was blocking her on absolutely everything. Nah, bro, she did, she went kill the baby the next day. Fifteen years old. Bro. No, no, she wasn't fifteen at the time. Fifteen I know, years ago, but no, she you. no not fifteen years ago. I met her when she was fifteen. She had just had an abortion at fifteen. 
Um, she had a boyfriend at 15. I don't know the circumstances behind that. I forget the circumstances behind that. But I ain't gonna lie, this girl is she, too young. Just yeah, wasn't ready. she's had a lot of abortions. Yeah. She's had a lot of abortions. Um, but what's so cold is how the Most High did it. Now, when she got with the dude that she want to have a baby by, she came. She came. Yeah, damn. But fucked she, up, she, no, no, nah, nah, she, she, yeah. she, didn't, she didn't. I mean, the girl is a serial killer at this point. But yeah. that particular time, the first two, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, the first two made her a serial killer, Girl. right? But at at, the, at that particular time, when that happened, you know, she like I said, I was with her. She was talking about having this baby. Yeah, she wanted it. She wanted the baby. Yeah. That man totally ghosted her on everything. Mm. She she terminated that baby the next day. Yeah. And another thing too. And and, and that, now just for the record, that don't let her off the hook. Right. Yeah. For an emotional niggas, it's gonna be on it. This right. doesn't let her off the hook. But we're not we're not talking about her right now. Yeah. We're talking about us and how that man could have actively done what he needed to do and exactly. to ensure that life to be born. Exactly. Think about this. I mean, now this does happen. There are, again, because somebody said, what about the evil? What if you're doing all the things you're supposed to be doing to women? They're, okay, well, that's an evil bitch. Yeah. That, that happens. Right. You this, get bad apples. Yes. This is not a 100% in all circumstances going to yeah. work, right. what we're talking about. Right. Because I know a guys that have been there and done everything they're supposed to do and the bitch still went and killed their damn baby. Right. I know about that. But I know that that is typical. It, it's just like if we're having an abortion argument with a woman and they say, what about rape or incest? Yeah. Okay. You rape or straight. incest does happen, and that is the smallest reason. Yeah, that like, is the lowest like reason for abortion. That's the lowest reason. Yeah. So I don't want to hear about incest and rape. Yeah. The same way I don't want to hear about the few girls who abort babies by people who are in great positions right. and great leaders and things like that. Right. Because those are all few and far between. Let's deal with the real. Right. The average girl, if we get a line of girls in here, and we at, who got an abortions, and we say, why did you get an abortion? Right. Nine times out of ten, they're going to talk about either because a lack of resources or un, or unstable relationships, right. unsupportive relationships. Right. Period. Yep. Yeah. And the thing that I hate about that, and this is why I don't believe in toss ups uh, that men give women. Mm -hmm. It's either even like when you just in a pos position of authority, and you giving a nigga an option. Right. Right. Or giving a female a, a option, I don't believe in giving options in certain things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Certain things you got to stand on. Yeah, certain yeah. things are not optional. Yeah. So when yeah. you, even when you got, I think some of the, because there's gonna be a lot of niggas that try to come with this. Well, I asked her, was she going to keep it? Right. That slight of you not wanting to embrace that family, yeah. that 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 making her unsure. Yeah, that's you know certain, what I'm saying. She yeah. like, damn, yeah, yeah. like she want to hear. Man, well, look, I, that's, yeah, God. that's make it happen. That's God. my baby and stuff God. like that. What, what, but instead, <laughs> she heard that. <laughs> well, are you going to keep it? God. The fact that you gave her the option yeah. to think about that yeah. lets her know you're not 100 percent sure invested. that you, you want to invested. even be with me. You yeah. don't want to have this baby with me. God. So certain things I don't even believe in right. tossing. I don't believe in yeah. putting it up. Like no, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're not even talking about abortion. Yeah. So like, oh, that's man, not man. even that's, that's not even a factor. Not we're not. That's not an option. Cause. That's not an idea, Cause. nigga. Fuck no. Yeah, that's never. You see what I'm saying? I already got a neighbor. What neighbor? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? What we want to do? Yeah, it's it's the Hebrew, every, every time. <laughs> Shit like that. That's exactly what you're supposed to do. Cause. These niggas be playing with yeah, it. You yeah, you yeah, at nah. that point you've not only yeah. have you created doubt in her mind, you've given her power over life. Yes, you gave her some things you can't give her power over. Exactly. And that's exactly. the thing I don't believe exactly. in that toss up Just giving it Certain things You just can't give them yeah. The ball in the court Cause then the emotion Can kick in oh, oh he don't want the baby Let me just go ahead Let me just Yeah he don't want yeah, it anyway yeah, 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 I'm gonna exactly. be alone in this exactly. Or I've heard Heard of girls abort babies When yeah. niggas just straight Tell them like Well You gonna be on your own yeah. yeah I've heard of that Like I wanna say Within the last year or two I've heard of a nigga, a nigga Telling you Like you gonna be on your own Bro that's so crazy man yeah. That is crazy. Yeah, as look, fuck. Hey, look, like like you said, man. Word, word of, of hey, it seems like man of Mondays. The word that is directly tagged to it is bleak. Bleak. It's bleak. <laughs> bleak. Fucking it's bleak. bleak outside, it's bleak. man. Hey, anything outside of Hebrew is like, man, shawty, it's bleak. It's that, bleak. We we, you hey, got to be careful with them new niggas, too, though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Get <laughs> <laughs> you a seasoned Hebrew. A seasoned Hebrew. Like, that's, season right, that's, right, that's right. That's right. Uh, uh, Genuine one, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Because I'm not doing the work. <laughs> you know, grounded, <laughs> rooted, yeah, <'cause>. accountable. <laughs> you know? God damn, man. God damn, it's bleak. <laughs> and this nigga here, man, is weak. Where is the 
is where we should be focused. Women bring the choice of life, right? We understand that, right? I can't have a, a, a child unless a woman agrees. She can't well, carry one if you didn't put it in her. I agree with that 100% too, right? But whether or not, if you want that child or not, she can still make that decision. It's only if up you to don't her. Put a That's seed that toss in her, Nothing else happens. And no woman can make you put a seed in her. Mm. So the original act was the responsibility of a man. I mean, it's all right. So Everybody else around there confounded too. Right? <laughs> they had no response and, to that. And this is what I was gonna say at the beginning of the show. This is what I was gonna say at the beginning of the show. When when I first started listening and I was thinking uh over the course of you know these last couple of days mm-hmm. uh, just what was really going on in this and, and I'm looking back at the stuff I was sending you and you know stuff like that, they can make good content and they can they got good talking points to uh to when they talking to women and stuff like that or, or other men who yeah. don't want to hold accountability exactly you exactly. know what i'm saying like the non-accountable people who try to make excuses and stuff like that and they they, they bring out the statistics that prove why the man is right in these instances is cool it's cool yeah. until you bring a actual thoughtful person and say well what about this just 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 the right question mm-hmm. or just the right uh, understanding on, well, you know, let's get to the root of it. And ultimately, it falls back to the man. They get confounded, bro. Every time. Every time, they mm-hmm. getting confounded. The same way with, like, Fresh and Fit. If we really start dealing with stuff that they saying, bro, they can get confounded. It's, it's been times where them folks that got confounded well, on this joint by I, a thoughtful woman, bro. I, I heard some shit the other day with Fresh and Fit. Um, It was like a TikTok reel. And, I mean, it, it was it – was, Oh, 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 oh. So this is what this is what Myron said. And my, Myron is, he, I mean, because, I mean, he the main uh, one. That, he the main one that be talking. He the talking. He the main one that be talking, right? Talk. He so talking. he has said something like, um, a millionaire will, a millionaire will never date a woman with kids, is what he said. A, a millionaire will never mess with a woman with kids because he can go and get a 21-year-old with no kids. I said. That's a lie. But, but this is so, like. You ever heard of Yo Gotti? Bro, like, let's just go to. You know, you know how many. Uh, uh, I mean, um, when we're dealing with black people here yeah. and the black millionaires, the the the, the, the ball players, that bro, <laughs> all them dealing with women. They got they, they saw yeah. that because that's somebody else's baby mom. Come, like come. that's a regular thing. So I'm like, he, you said that based on what, yeah. nigga? You might not do it, and yeah. you know, I don't know whether or not you know what your net worth is, but you <laughs> might not do it, right? And that's cool, I right. ain't got no problem with you not wanting to do that. But right. for you to just make a declarative statement that boldly, yeah, that a millionaire will not want to do because he could just go get a 20. How you know, millionaires just want 21 year olds, yeah, right? I, I know a lot of guys who are not. The average motherfucker I know is not interested in girls in their early twenties. No. In their early twenties, bro, yeah, yeah. niggas is not interested in girls. It's got to be an exception for a girl that young. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. The average dude I know wants women, no matter what the damn tax bracket, 25, 25 and older, bro. Yep. Twenty five got to be twenty five is usually about Cut. that that sweet spot age Cut. and upwards. Yep. That's why a lot of they do in nightclubs where they make it at twenty five and up. Yeah, you got to be twenty five to come in this motherfucker. Cut. You see what I'm saying? Shit like that, nigga. Talking yeah. about you, you could just go get a twenty one year old, bro. What? Who are you talking about? Yeah. Old ass white men or something? I don't understand. <laughs> what what, what demographic you speaking heathen, for? Nigga, you got it, it, to be. It's really just the heathen. Yeah, got to be. It ain't just it, even not just the old heathen, just heathen. No, yeah, heathen period. Yeah, because because we just don't look at. A, a woman being a baby mama in such a negative re- like, yeah. like like we because, probably should yeah. but because because it's don't. so because we yeah. made so many God, of them God. you just can't you, you just can't and then a nigga like it. us going to look at it like she's a nurturer that's what i need God. 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 i need somebody and, and to and look it, at these and, and here the cold kids. part even if if you are black or hispanic and you're looking outside of us 9 times out of 10 you still are subject to running the baby moms because yeah. We make baby mamas out of people. Cause. Quick. So even you run into the white girl, you run into the Asian girl that is in the black dudes, Cause. she might be she somebody might be baby mama. mama. Cause. 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 And, a and nigga a, a nigga. You ain't the first nigga to get to her. Cause. You know what I'm saying? Cause. Cause. Tell, that that happens a lot. You, you going to say something? I was about to say, he a heathen too. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah no, nah, his opinion just doesn't matter yeah. at all. Really, you and, know what I'm saying? And, and he be saying some shit to be like, "Nigga, what the fuck are you talking?" And he about? just and he really just regurgitating talking points, bro. Mm-hmm. That's really what it ultimately boiled down to. All them folks just regurgitating talking points. They didn't hear somebody say something, it worked. 
for a different conversation and they just apply it to they mm-hmm. little, you know what I mean, sphere. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. yeah. Shit, the spe- all, the sphere within the sphere. Yeah, man. So, <laughs> you know. Yeah, dude, they definitely just got confounded. They yeah. whole crew just got confounded. Now they finna go to another talking uh, point. Yeah, yeah, let's uh, just move on. You're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> they could see in the light. Original act is the responsibility of a man. True. I mean, it's all right. Oh, that was a solid five seconds, cause on the, on the podcast, just no re, no reaction at all, cause nothing, no rebuttal. And watch how he just ignore everything. Just keep playing. The household, or was it the system that was? It was systemic. All right. So how if we if, if we giving them grace for them having to do it without us, but it wasn't our fault. How are we not getting that same grace and that same respect? I'm gonna tell you why. why? I'm gonna tell you why. Because black yeah, men, they said. as the leaders of the community, now. We can't be leaders. Here's the here's the well, question we got to make. That. Here's the here's the question. Because the Come argument on, y'all make. Yes. He just said, "Women, we, we, we can't be leaders. Women not accepting it. Women not accepting it. What are me. y'all doing that <laughs> exemplify leadership qualities? Yeah, yeah, I don't get it. This nigga just said we can't be le- leaders. Women won't accept it." <laughs> Nigga, yeah, cause y'all let these women yeah, that's not being a do leader. all this. Leaders don't have to be allowed to be a leader. What are you talking about? What are we talking about here, bro? It's just like a, a chick constantly playing like back and forth games where you know you trying to be with her. She, you know what I'm saying, acting slick, toxic, or something, something like that. You know what I mean? Like doing little petty stuff. This is what time. happened, cause you just say, no, nah, you know what? No, nah, fuck that. Come on, Quit bro, all that Yeah, this is what happened, cause. Hey, Somebody doing? introduced and tried to create a system to force that idea. Yeah. And you and you allowed it. Yeah. That's all. Simple. You allowed it. You Simple. conceded to it. You didn't fight against it. Right. That's what happened. Yeah. Same thing with drugs. Yeah. It was pushed in the community. Now, some people going to get affected by it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Some people might have something they drink and boom, they, you know what I'm saying, got addicted to it because yeah. it was right. a setup. Right. Mm-hmm. But for the niggas that took it right. and said, this is, this is my way out. Good. Mm-hmm. Good. Or this is what I want to do. Let me try this. Let me try this. Yeah, good. Not knowing what happened. <laughs> and the people that watched it, yeah. all of this and is your fucking fault. Good. Yeah, good. yeah. Good. Same thing with the feminist movement. Right. And, and women wanting their equality and all this stuff, even though everybody had their roles, this equality stuff really came from white women. White women, right. Right? Every time. It was... Those men allowing that white woman to infiltrate those black women God. to create this movement, and God. you concede to it and not go to that black man and say, "What the fuck are you doing?" Right. And well, and and, and that takes a rabbit hole deep God. because we gotta go before we get into feminism. We gotta go a decade earlier in civil rights. Yeah, right. That civil rights thing first, the racial equality. That idea is what even opened the door for black women to feel like they were. Relatable to white women. Exactly. Before the sixties, black women and white women were bitter rivals, Con. arch enemies. Con. They did not look at themselves as the same thing, right. though they were both women. They didn't look at womanhood right. at all. As right. A collective. As a collective. Yeah. Civil rights came in, this yeah. idea of equality and and no difference no matter what the skin color or ethnicity, religion, race, religion, creed, etc. Right. That opened the door, that paved the way for feminism to even be able to come in there. Mm. Y'all know that there was something else. There's another thing. It's called um, it's called womanism. Have you heard of that? Mm-hmm. Womanism. So, womanism. Uh, difference between womanism and feminism. Womanism. Uh, a womanist is committed to the survival of both males and females, mm. and desires a world where men and women can coexist while maintaining their their cultural distinctiveness. Right. This institution of that's men. That's the right one. Now, what's this is, inclusion of men provides black women with an opportunity to address gender oppression without directly attacking men. Man, See man. that? So this was actually a black woman-rooted movement. Right. Of course, it got overshadowed by what? Feminist. The feminist movement. feminist movement. And what I women need to get is more womanism. You see what I'm saying? Understanding right. that there are specific things that are aimed at them as women, but never using that to attack the black man. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Because really, this is an entire system that's created by somebody else right. in the goddamn first place. Right. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Right. So that right there, but this this whole idea that it's women have a struggle that they don't have collectively, every race of women does not have the same struggle. 
by any stretch of the imagination. So, I mean, other than what they, you know, uh, 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 you know, natural problems that that affect all women the same, you know, um, panty liners and shit like that. Right. I guess <laughs> that yeah, they got in common, but right. you know, realistically, societally, they don't have the same issues in common God. by any stretch of the imagination. God. Hey, it's a lot. He just admitted. He just admitted, right? Niggas is feminist, like you said. Niggas is you. You you allow yourself to be a feminist. You the the shit you saying, you're feeding into the feminist agenda. The fact that you want to hold a woman equally accountable to a man is feminist. Exactly, and that's what uh, Doc Dumas saying. Nigga, all, all you doing is feeding into the feminist agenda, nigga. By by the shit you saying. Feeds into the feminist agenda. Okay. It's an argument that says I don't want the responsibility. I'm a leader. I don't want to fix shit. Yeah. Mm. Right? Mm-hmm. I'm going to fall back and let her run everything. That's what the feminists tell. They say, look at them, making excuses for why they can't be better men, making excuses for why they can't make better men. You understand? Mm. Your argument feeds the feminist narrative. That's, not, that's not what we're making that's excuses not, for. We're not, I'm we, saying I am the better man, but really? I shouldn't be held responsible because you wanted to choose a Pookie and a Ray Ray. That's not me. I work too and hard in my go life. Back to what I said Pookie and Ray Ray shouldn't exist. And the only reason why Pico, Pico and Ray Ray exist because we're not in the community making those boys the men they need to be. Do you All see right. that? And she don't um, get a Pookie if you didn't allow a Pookie. But she right. got an Eli. She ain't come to Eli. She went to Pookie. <laughs> and that's what we're trying to say. She wouldn't have had a Pookie if we didn't allow one. I worked too hard in my life. Right. She wouldn't have had a Pookie if we didn't but, allow one. But Dr. Moore, we are uh, supposed uh, to make the braids the braids. Right, right. We right. as men, pass it. we as men, is holding other men accountable for for the same thing that you talking what, about right what, now. What, what are we doing for the young brothers in the street? So what you mean, mentoring them? No, I mean he's a great father. Mm-hmm. What? I ain't talking about that's individual. I'm, that's good. Uh-huh. But that's individualism. Yeah. What are we doing collectively as men uh-huh. to change the trajectory for black boys in the streets right now? I, I'm nothing. nothing. We're being a talking boss. shit. We're being yeah. a boss. I mean, Pause it. He said nothing yeah. but talking shit. No, no, is it, 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 it talk talking shit because what 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 these what these individuals don't realize what they're doing is they're doing something called social engineering. So when they do their talking points, they put in their YouTube, their reels, all that, they're, they're engineering society socially. Right. They're putting thoughts in people's minds. They right. are altering the way that people think. They're, they're, they're guiding people's thoughts right. in this way. Right. So if you're not collectively, if you're not using your, your expansive platform to guide people in the realm of leadership, right. you're just talking shit. Yeah. Well, then collectively you're doing nothing. And that's the point that I was making earlier on on my live stream. I'm, I'm going through all of the rest of the videos. Everything is man versus woman, man versus woman, man mm-hmm. versus woman. Mm-hmm. Nothing about mentoring that he just talked about. Nothing about bettering the community. Nothing mm-hmm. about... Anything, and this is whole Dr. Umar's point. Y'all just up here talking shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They just talk y'all ass off. Y'all, not, y'all yeah. just talking y'all ass off. Y'all well, not doing anything. And, and you, and you got to think about this, like how effective. Now, it's it's all talk, right? The power of the tongue. The tongue is the most powerful thing. And, and people sometimes um, take away from the power in mm-hmm. the words and what we talk about. Because if you're just talking shit, well, then that's. That's not effective. That really doesn't do anything. But when you're talking about something in a major way, you could invoke a change in people. Mm-hmm. Just take a look at the Hebrew Israelite movement. Guys went out on the streets and talked, mm-hmm. right? All we did was hear these people talk. They yeah. taught out of the Bible. This was all words. It was all talking. And that made all of us collectively change our lives right. through the talking. So what he's telling you is through talking, we can change lives or we can just talk shit. Exactly, and us talking and broadcasting it out to thousands of people is more effective than mentoring one person. Yeah, and that's the thing because we're changing one person as opposed to changing thousands of people. Exactly. If I know that every time we post a video on the Sakari main page, every video is going to get five thousand people to watch. Yeah, many are going to do more. Most are going to do more than that. Yeah. But the our base audience is five thousand people on that main page right uh-huh. five thousand so that means that there are five thousand people that want to listen to what we have to say uh-huh. those are five thousand people who we are consistently inputting g- giving them spiritual input and direction into their lives uh-huh. and then- now, just from one live stream or for two live streams a week two other video uploads or four videos a week 20, 000, yeah. 
that's that's well, that five thousand people we're 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 we're, we're feeding those five thousand people Come. intellectually, spiritually, et cetera. Come. That's bigger than the one guy. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. Not that the one guy is not important, right. but even greater than the one guy is giving that instruction to everybody. That's why people have to understand the importance of um going out to camp, but then also recording and uploading to the internet exactly. what you're doing at camp. Exactly. Why? Because yes, the people that walk by that day are important right. and their message getting to them is important. And then whatever either got to them or didn't then gets to be reproduced to thousands of people. Right. And that can really invoke a change, mm -hmm. cause a change. Yeah. But if we just were talking shit, if we were just on the streets every week talking shit, well, whose life does that in change and impact yeah. and, and, and better? Nobody's. Right. Right, so what he's saying is all y'all doing is sitting up here talking shit, and people. But but what they what these guys don't realize what all, what all the red pill white manosphere guys don't realize this shit was cool, but the statistics, the analytics are saying that the viewer is pivoting away from that type of content. Yeah. They're becoming uninterested in the man versus woman shit anyway. Right. So the question is, what are you niggas gonna do yeah. when everybody goes away from that? Mm -hmm. Where you just and that's what they're saying. What, what, what's that white bitch name? Um, I was hearing her name today uh, or yesterday. Pearl. Pearl. Because they're saying, basically, um, a lot of people don't believe Pearl. Nah. They believe that she's just pandering and she's just yeah, doing. Yeah, she she's just spooning off of the manosphere. Spooning off the yeah, manosphere. the bread out of the manosphere. And they're, and they're talking about, like, her views and, you know, how it's taking a downward trajectory. Yeah. And basically how people are just getting away from the red pill content. Mm -hmm. Especially with what happened with the Tates. Because really the Tates is like, the kings of that, it, not not so much because I wouldn't even put. I don't yeah, put, I them, put in them in that category. category. Yeah. But that audience watches them. Nah, but you know, like Andrew Tate, even though he had his own, you know, uh, his own motion, mm -hmm. right? A lot of people found out about him by Fresh Fit. Yeah, uh, by Fresh Fit. Yeah, on yeah, because, fresh because, because, because I never heard of the nigga before. Yeah, fresh he was fit, constantly honestly. going on Fresh and Fit. Like uh -huh. they, he was like. Consistent on him, but he understood. He a chess player. Yeah, exactly. He understood this platform too damn big. Yeah, to not I to not milk it. Yeah, I gotta I milk gotta it. This motherfucker and then I go from there. Uh -huh. I, go, I go viral off this motherfucker. They gonna they gonna make a short a reel out of me a couple of times. Every time I come on here, I got them the three hours of live just dealing with <laughs> women uh -huh. to just man go viral. Uh -huh. You see what I'm saying? I better use this. You see what I'm saying? Now he doing his own thing, but the, the content ain't the same as yeah. what Fresh and Fit talking about. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? This is actual empowerment type stuff he talking about. Exactly. That's yeah. what he talking about. And yeah, he don't even be more so on women. His main live stream be towards, towards men. men. Yeah. Like, you a geek. He be yeah. like, this and men. Yeah. Yeah. You a geek. You yeah. sitting there watching porn. Yeah, why the fuck <laughs> nigga, fuck with you? Be your <laughs> dick and doing all this shit. <laughs> right, right. right? Well, you need to be getting up, working. God. You know, working out, doing this, doing that. Like, I'm talking about, he, that's all yeah. he do is yeah. boast on purpose mm -hmm. so niggas can feel like shit for not being shit. Not being and, shit. And, and, and turn they self up. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. I remember, man, when I was young, Smack DVD, man. You know what I'm saying? With God. Smack DVD, there was a fabulous Smack DVD, and he was just, man, he had all kind of cars and, so and, <laughs> and, and jury, and he said... I'm just trying to motivate the hood. That's what he said. I'm God. trying to motivate, trying to motivate the, the hood. God, God. That's what I'm, trying. I'm trying to motivate you. God. You can have this. Deacon, man, a lot of people know about a guy by the name of Deacon. Deacon, man, you know, years ago when he was in the world, man, when he got his first thing, he went and got the all orange charger mm. and put the and put the Lambo doors on. Yeah, that whole yeah. music video. Man, too. listen. And he was driving up on groups of niggas in that, and he was yelling out the window, step it the fuck up and peeling off on the ass. <laughs> <laughs> he the goat. But he was just saying, nigga, like, listen, I'm trying to tell niggas, they got to step it the fuck up. That nigga the goat. You can do it too, nigga. That yeah. nigga is limited. Yeah, not you limited. Say, nigga, limited. You can do me, it, nigga. nigga. <laughs> step it the fuck up and you're peeling on God, niggas, bro. You know God, what I'm saying? God. And somebody stepped it up from this shit. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 somebody and was influenced, up. bro. Yeah, somebody said, bro, I got to get, nah, nah, nah I got to take 
him out. He got that orange thing. I'm going to take it out. Influence. You hear me? I had his ass up, uh-huh. man. Now, you see some righteous men, you like, nah, you know what? I, they, this nigga just influenced the hell out of me. Yeah, dog. he influenced me. You see what I'm saying? I, 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 I want to I I do like that. Cut. You see what I'm saying? Cut. See, and, and that's that. That's what men are, that, that's the thought that men are supposed to have. Damn, Cut. I want something like that for exactly. myself. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Not hate on the nigga. My, in my own fashion. Yeah, in my own. I want I'm something like that. Cut. Mine don't look like. Yeah. What, my dream car don't look yeah. like his dream car. Yeah. My dream girl don't look like his dream girl. But, my dream house don't look like his cut, dream house. Cut. But he got it. Cut, yeah, but Let the me dream, go get mine. Be yeah, the though. dream can be actualized. Cut. It can't be manifested cut. into reality, cut. hands down. Right. Cut. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. bro. Yeah. Yeah, but the question is, what are these guys going to do when... Exactly. The, 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 it, it's just like people, even in the Israelite community, when there's an attack on a camp. Where somebody just comes out of nowhere and want to just come on a slander campaign on the camp. Maybe a camp did something wrong, right. did something bad. They do this. Okay, cool. So when the dust settles and the smoke clears and right. this scandal is over, what are you going to have for the people that you've attracted to you now? Right. Exactly. What are you going to provide for them? Right. See, this is why the camps, people don't understand why the camps have always won in the spirit. Because regardless of what you try to say about us, keep going we got class in camp Come. every week. Come. And that program is going to keep happening to steadily serve and provide. See, but what, what do we get? Giving to people Con. support, stability, and leadership. Yep. Mm-hmm. This the same thing that the woman is complaining they're not right. having while they're killing the baby. Right. Because there's not stability, there's right. not support, right. there's not leadership there. Mm-hmm. So because we're still giving that, there's a blueprint. Even, it, there's a blueprint that yeah. we're we're, still, we're working through the hard times through the Con. spirit of the most high, but the grace of the most high. Con. These other guys who don't have that, who don't have the discipline and the structure to really actually provide that right. to a congregation of people. Right. After the scandal goes, they we forget about them too. Exactly. They're just All connected. The internet niggas. They're just connected to the scandal. They have God. nothing to offer any of the people beyond it. God. So, in, in the same way with these, <laughs> with, crazy. In, 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 in the same way with these dudes, okay, you're doing all the shock content, men and women, and ah, uh, okay, cool. When that shit's old, yeah, you probably got two more years out of this. Yeah, and then I don't what? See, I don't see this lasting no more than yeah, two more what, years. What, exactly. what are you especially going after this interview? Especially after this, this, this is a death blow. <laughs> now, what are you going to give to your audience, which I guarantee you is vast majority male? Yeah, I think we could go look up their statistics too, probably. Uh. Vast majority of men. What are you going to give to those men? You God. entertain. Are you going to give them some information? Yeah. Are you going to give them some guidance? Exactly. Are you going to tell them, you know, how to improve and empower themselves? Right. Because it's a lot of cheerleaders for a lot of these niggas God. who are who you, you may have a guy. These guys may be the ultimate niggas. Who knows? God. But their cheerleaders are far from it, and they're not doing anything to motivate their cheerleaders exactly. to get like them. God. And and prime example, Myron, constantly getting caught fucking with these women. Right, and he ain't even got a family that he's building. Right, but he's talking about tr- uh, modern and traditional women in relationship. Right, that's cold. But we can check your background. All right, let's follow you. You tricky. You're a content creator uh, of some bullshit. Uh, <laughs> you're a millionaire of some bullshit, uh-huh. and you didn't transfer that to real estate. Okay, I might. And he got be- that that uh, fed it too. Yeah, yeah, that, it, uh-huh. that bullshit. Right, which is bullshit too. You know what I'm so saying? But, all right. he got that bullshit right. Boom! You can, you know, put niggas up on your real estate game and shit like that. But now, okay, right. now how does I transfer that and become a better man and husband and right. all this shit? Right. You can't give me that. Right. So at the end of the day, it's just like how you go back to these Facebook Israelites. God. I you remember my cousin? God. This nigga ain't doing shit. And used to be on our ass. On our ass, cut, right? Cut, cut, but you ass. got all this. Now, where, where can I come to learn? Shit, I, I can't come to no building to learn. Cut. We got how many? One, Memphis, Miami, Miami San Diego. San Diego. Uh, we, we let Tia want to go. You see what I'm saying? So four. Mm. So we got, we got four different areas that you can come to. Yeah. Well, we put up our own hard working money. Cut. Right? No... Nothing. Shout out to the brothers that you know do get support behind them as far as like you know non profits and stuff like that. God. But I'm saying it's brothers that actually did groundwork, yeah. started from a city, built it off a foundation, God. and actually created something. While you were just talking, this while you was just talking, this God. has no foundation. God. So once it dies, and and the brothers just. Spent all this money on Super Chat. Mm-hmm. Spent hours looking at right, your content. Bro, right. After all of this, how are they going to translate this and apply it to themselves? 
Farrakhan. Because they, cause they really looking at these motherfuckers that's like, they quote unquote advocating for men. They really looking at these niggas like leaders. Exactly. Like they really. Like, like how trusting. can they duplicate what yeah, you're doing exactly. besides just getting on YouTube exactly. talking exactly. shit? Exactly. In exactly. real life, though. In, in real life or, or, or making these same arguments. At, at, the, at, the, at the basketball court right. Or some shit like that Or some niggas That have opposing views Or some shit exactly. but This shit don't really Translate into real life Exactly it So that's what I'm saying Like we bro. We got results yeah, Like the it, most high Giving us results so, so even right now I'm on a social blade They, they views are down In the last 30 days Right, and and this is they're saying that that all of the this type of con, all the red pill content is yeah, trending exper- down. Experiencing the same, it, it's, yeah, it's, it's trending down. But I, I want to see yeah. if they got. That's tough, man. If I can take a look at the the gender, the uh, gender analytics. Yeah, the gender analytics. I mean, it's probably safe to say. I mean, they definitely have a vast majority male audience. I'm sure, but I want to know how much because again, it it only just goes into. Understanding what are you really giving your audience? Right. You have an obligation yeah. to your audience. Life or death. What are you giving them? Right. All you're giving them is talking shit. Mm-hmm. That's it. Umar, that was a power check. Yeah. From an elder, a, a, a respected, a universally God. respected black man in this country. You got to take that and you have to analyze that, yeah. reflect on that, and you got to do something yeah. about that, man. You got to. It's an obligation that you have to your people. Yeah, don't just deflect, man. Yeah, don't yeah. just deflect. When you look at all their content, it's all bullshit. Yeah, yeah. All of their content yeah, for years that, has been bullshit. Con, that's what I realized. And that's what I was just saying. Like the stuff I was saying, chief. Like it's controversial, and it's like damn. Like okay, they got it with that one type of shit. But when you think about it, ultimately, it's stuff that only applies. When motherfuckers don't want to take accountability for the bullshit that they do. You see exactly. what I'm saying? You only have a talking point to a motherfucker that, that don't want to take accountability. When motherfucker take accountability and say, okay, yeah, this this true, but what about this part? You know what I mean? Let's deal with the whole scope of shit. Now, shit, the cookie crumble. All right. You see what I'm saying? What's this? To uh... change the trajectory for black boys in the streets right now. I'm nothing. We're being a talking shit. Yeah, I mean, you can take it's it. It's not that. going to get better unless we put hands on deck. The reason the athletes and the rappers are the role models mm. is the professional black man moved out the hood. Where the dentist at? He ain't in the black community no more. Mm-hmm. Where the lawyer at? Where the business owner at? Where your city council person at? We abandoned no, we black boys and then we blame black men for poor choices in mates that they should not even have to make if we did a better job raising our boys the right way. At the end of the day, if I'm going to call myself a man, mm. the ultimate responsibility for reconstruction of the black community rests with me. Mm. Yes, they have a role. Mm. Yes, they have responsibility. Mm-hmm. But as a man, as a leader, mm. to say I can't fix this shit unless she changes... That's not the definition of a man. I don't see. Yeah. I think we're we're, not, we're on two different accords. Like, yeah. I don't think we're saying that. What I'm saying is, I am I'm capable of being that leader, that provider. I've worked hard in my life. You get what I'm saying? I should not have to. You still going back to individual. But I only feel like we tell black men that we have to now deal with. Yeah, masculine I shouldn't women. shoot. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't shit be killing me. And, 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 and it's crazy because Doctor Umar is making very good points. Amazing points. And he could to go back to I. Uh, yeah, he and that's exactly what he snuck. He said, "You keep going back to individual. You keep going back to the individual. I it's should. A, it's a you thing. Mm-hmm. You ain't giving a fuck about us. Yeah, you ain't giving a fuck about the young niggas, the dems that he it, talking about. If if you would have came into the truth, right, Elazar, mm-hmm. and you would have just said, man, I shouldn't have to be doing all this teaching and spending my money on signs and Ooh. going to YouTube, and then, it wouldn't have been a nigga like me that looked at you and been like." Damn, I need to do what he doing. Come. So I'm finna give me. I'm finna build me exactly what he built over here. Mm-hmm. No, exactly. And if it wasn't for the people I seen, I wouldn't have gone. Exactly. I need to do what they doing. Because that's, li- that's literally what I thought. I seen him and said, "Yeah, I need to do I that." I need to do with that. <laughs> and then guess what? Tahar did. I need to do that. Yeah, because he seen you know Ariana. So if every nigga was like him, yeah, it wouldn't be no other niggas. Ain't no progress. Now, now let's go. Let, let's let's go to the source. The source there, of course, is Elder Bivens, yes. right? In our in our lineage, in, in our in our spiritual lineage, it's 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 him. He just said, God. "I'm finna." B- b- he 
he had one guy with him, according to his account. Okay. They was teaching by themselves. Dude left him. He got to keep going. He find out about something going on in New York. Take his ass to New York. Get with um, the commandment keepers in New York. Okay. He stopped feeling what they got going on. They inside all day. He said, damn that. I'm going to the streets by myself God. on a goddamn ladder. Yeah. And I'm going to tell everybody. You see what I'm saying? He took he took the matter into his own hand. Now, he didn't live to see what we are got going on now. God. Yeah. Ooh. But he had to do it in it. order for us to exist God. in this damn building now. God. If he doesn't do that, God. we're not sitting here. We're not here. We never. I don't know you niggas. We're not here. Exactly. This nigga don't know you niggas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? God. Y'all from Memphis, y'all could have. But this from St. Louis, I'm from, we would have never knew each other. God. Never. Unless that man did what he did there. Exactly. So we have to understand the ripple effect of saying, fuck it, I'm taking this shit into my own hands. I got to do it. I got to go out there and do it. I have to be an example. I got to give somebody something that they can look to. And as a man, that's exactly what you got to say. If I don't do it, it don't get done. It don't get done. And that's what I be telling them. They like, damn, I know you're tired at work. I'm the only nigga that's going to be able to do this shit. That's it. I'm the only nigga on the back of this truck. That's, that's, it. that's why I'm in Atlanta, in Atlanta right now. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to come here. You know, there yeah. was certain shit that had to get done. Cause. And sometimes you just exactly. the man for the job. Cause. It just it just is what it is. It's yeah. like if I don't if if I don't do this, yeah. Shit don't get you know, done. It's me. It's on me. Cause. See it's what I'm saying? And fault. and and people have to come into that realization. I, I it was easy for me to come into that realization because I see my pops had that philosophy. Cause. Right. The whole everything is on his back. Yeah. yeah. As long as I've been, as long as we grow, even the times my mom had a job, that wasn't shit. Yeah. That was just I don't even know why she had a job. I was getting too. That was one. Of, that was one of the things like I'm bored. I just want to go to work. Yeah, I didn't want to feel like I'm doing something. And, 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 Matt, and, and realistically, she never had a full time job. Good. She would just do like catering gigs on the side. Right, right, Maybe right. we were short <laughs> during that time. Whatever, yeah. whatever. Pop yeah. like, hey man, I need you to go. Uh, uh yeah. whatever. Yeah. You know, in Proverbs 31, a, a, a woman is also resourceful. Okay. If she got to go make it happen, okay. she going to go make it happen. Okay. Right? But, and then even when, after after they split and my pops got with my, my stepmom, her, man, <laughs> she act like she had her shit together, man. She ain't really had no motion for okay. real. No her motion. motion her motion increased of, off of being, the t- being my dad's woman. You okay. see what I'm saying? Because they both in the same profession and shit. Right. So her motion just went up because she this nigga girl now. Right. All of a sudden, her gigs increased right. and shit like that because she right. fucking with that nigga. Right. So... It's always been, nigga, everything's on my back. I got to get it done. Nobody else going to get it done. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Different shit happened. I remember when I, when I got my jaw broke, big ass Samoan blood nigga hit me. I'm not looking. Boom. Broke my shit. I didn't know what. Listen, I didn't know what happened. Nigga, I <laughs> yeah. said, oh, this nigga got me. <laughs> yeah, I already told you what you were like. No, listen. No, I was just like, <laughs> this is a feeling I never had before. Nigga, shit, my you. shit was hanging, Jack. Good. Nigga, just big ass someone. This nigga doing life right now. Good. Beating a nigga to death. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Them type of hands. Good. Um, bro, you know, bro, they it was ten we didn't, we never had no uh medical insurance. Yeah. We never had no medical insurance. Right. My whole life. Yeah. We go to that motherfucking oral surgeon and he like, yeah, it's gonna be ten thousand. Pops like I mean, what are we going to do? I'm going to leave this nigga jaw hanging. You're right. So he like, you know, what the payment plan is. On some like. bullshit you did. Well, let me say, on oh, some bullshit I did gang banging. God. You know what I'm saying? I'm on here gang banging the shit. God. Hey, I had nothing to do with him, but he looking like shit. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, shit, what I got to give you now? <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? Right. And he like, all right, boom, he just made it. Okay, I can give you, we can do the payments like this? Yeah. Okay, cool. You God. see what I'm saying? And it, he God. just he just made it happen. It happen. You see what I'm saying? Because who the fuck else is gonna make it yeah. happen? Right. He basically Nobody. saying I shouldn't have to change my son's diaper. Yeah. <laughs> no, what he's right, saying? Right. I, I shouldn't have to do any of this. I shit. didn't ask for him to be here. <laughs> <laughs> she has the power. She has the power of life. God. God. Somebody told me like it's just sick, I, had, I was doing some extracurricular stuff, and I was, I was complaining to somebody like, "Damn, why y'all not helping me on some shit?" Uh-huh. Yeah. He hit me with a, "Everybody not gonna be like you." And I thought to myself, I'm like, you right. That's a like, I, didn't even, I, didn't, I didn't like argue with him. And I was just like, you right. I guess everybody not going to be like me. Yeah, I, nah, I, I if, you, yeah, if you want to do the extra credit, yeah. Bro, hey, shit, some nigga ain't doing no extra yeah. credit. Some some nigga at the job they offer overtime. Everybody, some niggas going home. Go, some nigga yeah. don't want the overtime. Go home. Some nigga like, man, nah, I need that overtime. Yeah. <laughs> but what, what's crazy about Doctor Umar? He even admits like the the point you just made. Not everybody gonna be like you. 
He even admits some of these niggas just gotta die. Cause. Oh, he gonna say that? In one of his case studies. Oh, no, okay. no, not in that. Say, I, you know, it was one of his case studies where he's uh-huh. saying, like, and you know, this is the reality some of y'all gotta face. Some of these niggas no. are far too gone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, some of these saying, motherfuckers I, I remember, gotta I, die. Hey, listen, in order for our community to be and better. That's, that's a biblical thing. God. Exactly. Because the Most High left us in that wilderness. God. He said, bro, all these niggas gotta whole, die first, bro. Yeah. That whole generation gotta die before you can get to the promised land. And, and again, somebody can be out there and they cannot believe in the Bible. That's fine. Fuck, let's take a look at the principle of what's being told in this story. Right. Sometimes you got to get a whole generation out the way Come. before you can go to the promised land or right. get to where you're going, get to your kingdom, get to your dominion. Before that goal can be reached, sometimes all these motherfuckers are going to have to die first. Right? But a good example got to be sent for the for the generation that's going to succeed. Mm. I'll be right? Honest. It's so crazy that we're saying this because ultimately when you look at the that, the story of the Exodus mm-hmm. and then coming into the land or, or having to you know dwell in the wilderness until Come. we get into the land. That's exactly the same situation, the scenario that's going on in America right that's now. That's a fact. Exactly hey, bro, the same, and, and, bro. And, and that's why I'm always always salute my cousin Eddie S. Glaude, head of African American Religious Studies at Princeton University, Come. who wrote the book. Exodus. Con. And the whole book is about how the Exodus story in the Bible and the story of black people in America is pretty much the same story. Bro, this is Egypt, bro. I didn't. This That's is it. Egypt, bro. That's it, bro. Nah, this is exactly what's going on. Mm-hmm. We in the phase of weeding out the old generation. They say exactly what's going on, even as far as in the <laughs> truth. <laughs> like the whole scenario. <laughs> they be getting on no. me because I be like, you old niggas are done. Y'all nah, for real. It, but ultimately, you in the spirit, though. Fuck y'all, no, respect. Hey, fuck yeah, everything. Yeah. That's why it's only it's only be certain one. You know, and, and the cold thing is the certain old niggas that's not like that, you know it. they're going to tell you about the other old niggas. Yeah. Like, man, hey, fuck. My Fuck the old God. niggas, man. Don't even y'all, talk to it's us. Y'all time, bro. I'm <laughs> it's just y'all here to help you. Yeah. What y'all niggas need That's to do. That's it, bro. That's it. But yeah, niggas like these folks gotta get out the way. They gotta get weak. Yeah. Yeah. Or else? change. Or Look. change. Listen, change. Or man, listen. You gotta get with the movement, man. I get moved on, man. It's, it's, that, it's that simple, bro. What, what you finna say, Tazari? Nah, nah. It probably wasn't what you was about to say. I was just hopping on the fact that we know the old niggas finished. So a lot of people keep on saying 2,000 babies finished. We the ones, <laughs> we the ones that's coming up. Okay. No, no, that, no, that, no, that, no, that's on a different scale. No, no, but no, but here, here the cold thing is, right. you really right, yeah. and and the problem here, here's the problem. <laughs> it's it's you can kind of look at the Bible for it too when it say that the women that that the uh, the, the later generations are not as strong as the ones that preceded. Okay. The oh, generation yeah, yeah, yeah. have gotten softer. That be the thing about it. Cause. Niggas have have gotten progressively Cause. softer. Cause. Niggas skin. I'm, I'm talking about yeah, the, sick, the, just cold, the the type the type of shit that be like that people are sensitive to now Cause. versus in the nineties. Right. Then versus in the eighties. Right. Every decade you go back, niggas was less soft. Cause. Right. Okay. Um, so there's that aspect. But but truthfully, you're right. Them old niggas are fit because them same niggas is there's hard. They also they they can't deal with their emotions. Right. They can't process their emotions. Right. They they bottle everything. They don't talk about any goddamn. Come there was a silence policy Come in them older times. So there was problems with that. Come Let's not get that twisted. There was, there no was definitely problems. It. it was no balance yeah, to it. Yeah. It was no balance to yeah. it. Yeah. That's yeah. a fact. Yeah, and, and and that's why we say that the generation that we in the nineties babies, the nineties babies, <laughs> that's right? the best one. The nineties babies, we the generation that got the balance. Yeah, because we see the imbalance of them, and then we see the imbalance <laughs> of the young niggas like. All right, all right, we, we go, we go, we go, come right here in the middle, right here in the middle, bro, right in the middle, yeah, yeah, in yeah, the yeah. spirit, you yeah. understand? Yeah, like, 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 look, look, look like. The, the, you know with the brother Kodash, Officer Kodash, and you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like he's, he's he's tipped in that that way. You see Cause, what I'm saying? Cause, but cause, then we get a cause. young nigga and be like. Man, but he too far that way. Yeah. We gotta come right in the middle. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> like, all right, you right. All right. He like man, uh, he ain't hugging his kids. Yeah, yeah, he ain't he can't wear some pink is, is just totally, super. It's just totally <laughs> outside of his <laughs> realm. So nah, I'm gonna put, 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 put some. Shout out, shout out, shout out, I'm gonna put some damn pink on and I'm gonna hug my damn kids. God, that's right, man. That's right. I want to say at least a little accent of pink. A little pink accent. And I'm gonna hug the hell out of my son. That's a fact. Nah, that was funny as hell because he. He laughing at me. I'm looking at this shit, and I'm like, "Bro, these niggas gotta die." Yeah, I'm like, bro. I'm mad as fuck. They gotta go, bro. 
Yeah. Kind of, this, this, cause the, the thought is parasitic. Mm-hmm. The thought is parasitic. They gonna have parasites in these young niggas' minds. Like, yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna just blame the bitch. Yeah. Or blame the, the woman. You mm-hmm. see what I'm saying? You know. But uh, I got the precepts. We ain't bring no precepts yeah. out in a minute. Uh, Sirach 33 and 17. It says, "Consider that I labor not for myself only, mm-hmm. but for all them that seek learning." Damn. Yeah. It's it's not. First off, it's you yeah. when, when you don't share. The wisdom that the Most High has taught you in your life with people, right. you're wasting it. You're wasting it. You're wasting all of it. Mm. Most High didn't just put that through that, put you through that for you. Bring some precepts out. Right? Man. He put that also through you so you could be a living witness and a living testimony. You see what I'm saying? That people don't understand the importance of the testimony, right? No, well, we just need to put the book of Sirach alone <laughs> in the prisons mm-hmm. and they just find out where it came from. <laughs> like, we need to put. We need to do that. We need to put that book of Sirach in the prisons God. for sure. Watch this. Sirach forty one and fifteen. It said, a, "A man that hideth his foolishness is better than a man that hideth his wisdom." Yeah. Hello. <laughs> yeah, bro. It make more sense to hide your foolishness, bro. Think about it. Is 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 it cool to be a fool? No, right? Right. So hide that. Right. Sirach four and twenty three, and refrain not to speak. When there is occasion to do good, and hide not thy wisdom in her beauty. Yeah, and that's basically it, bro. Come. That's basically. It. But he on their ass though. Yeah. Alone, not one woman, so brother. You tell me oh, a whole I, community. You mean to tell me I, the only woman I can look forward in my life is a masculine woman that has kids by no, other men? No, that's man. what I have to no, look forward to. But I'm seeing you, Jesus, Jesus Christ. That, that, that's so he didn't say anything even to related to that, and here he jumps to. That's crazy. Yeah, nigga, niggas just be not listening though. Like, yeah. and, and, and then and then I'm, to and then and then I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you what contradicts the narrative, right? Because there's a narrative black women in masculinity, um, and we know that some certainly take on pseudo masculinity. We talked right. about the exoskeleton things like that, right. but I'm gonna demonstrate to you that black women are the actual epitome of femininity. Reason being, when somebody wants to be a tranny, when somebody wants to, any of the gays, any of that, they, they're they mimicking the black, they're not acting like white girls, yeah. right? Then white girls go out of their way to try to sneak, steal every damn thing the black women create. Why is that? Let's go back to the damn, whatchamacallit, the white girls are wearing the damn, um when they was wearing the girdle and the big old, they were stuffing their back. Hump in their ass. You know what I'm saying? Putting uh, that hump the in their ass. ass dresses. And things like that. The, like the little, yeah, the extra little uh, All of, why, <laughs> well, so, of the dress. So why is she being emulated like this, God. right? If she's so, and, and this, 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 again, a lot of plantation politics have, have a lot to play in this because when, when you understand this, right, and you understand what was going on on plantations because people always, um, you know, they talk about rape. And to a degree, any on a plantation, any sexual relationship between uh, the white man and the black woman is raped technically because the black woman really don't have a say right. in the matter, right? Mm-hmm. Right? Um, she doesn't really her consent is not is is she doesn't have a right to consent in that situation right. because right. of the circumstances. And if she has, if she wants to, let's say she isn't, she genuinely wants to do this. That's nine times out of ten because Stockholm. of. The Stockholm syndrome that she's facing, God. or she feels like, oh, well, the benefits come here, the perks come here. Right. Let me do this, but it's just a fact that, and this is part of the reason why there's a bitter rivalry between the black woman and the white woman, or the white woman has this animosity towards the black woman that she does, right? right? Because you know, there's a lot of situations where black women, I mean, white women rather, will get with black men, but still hate what. The black woman, and let's reverse it. There's instances where black women get with white men, they still don't like white bitches. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. But this is an old problem. This problem goes back to that plantation right. because the white woman felt some type of way when this dude's spending all that time with the, with the black woman. You see what I'm saying? Her, watching her. Wa- all well, yeah, that. Yeah. She catching them staring. See what I'm saying? Like that. Yeah. All that and they, yeah. that internalized jealousy yeah. because she naturally has certain things. Right. That the white woman just doesn't possess. Yeah, kind of. So then the white woman because there's no if she went and put that big ass hump in the back of their dress, if right. that became a fact, there's a reason for that. Yeah. Because that white man was looking for that because kind of. he started getting used to that. <laughs> you see of. what I'm saying? Just kind imagine of. this. She probably just heard the, you know, saying the white man just 
kicking shit, probably playing pool or some shit. <laughs> and they talking about how fat they fat, you know, mm-hmm. they slave ass is. Uh-huh. And she just hearing this shit and be like, fuck this shit. Let me go ahead and make this motherfucker. <laughs> uh, For real though. Add some fucking metal to the drink. Yeah, 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 just fucking just form. give it the Credit. illusion. Bitch, still when I pull this motherfucker off you, you're not going to have what I'm looking for. Just like this, cuz. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That's it. The white iPhone. That's it. Shaped it like a board. It's a movie I watched called Black Snake. Um, I think the whole thing is on YouTube now too. It's a, it's a black exploitation mm-hmm. movie. Okay. Um, I think it's from like 1971, 72. It takes place on a fictitious island called, uh, I think, San Cristobal. The only thing I don't like about it, the Haitians are are like the coons in the movie. Oh the Haitians God. are like the overseers. Yeah. Right. There, there's there's like an Irish overseer, and then there's Haitian overseers. Right. Um. And uh, and then the leader of the Haitian overseers is gay. Too so that so that that really threw me off, you know. But you know, it, it, it's still a, a cool movie. I mean, in what it depicts, they got to do to get crucified, rise on the third day, um, things like that. Yeah. But uh, uh, the the white girl. So basically, the, her husband died, and people theorize that she killed the husband. So she's running the island. She's the slave master in this instance, mm. and um, she keeps harping on. And he can't fuck those black bitches. <laughs> like she, she has a lot of conviction in that idea that he was fucking the black woman. You right. see what I'm saying? Um, so that, like I said, that's an ancient, not, not not so much an ancient rivalry, but it's an old rivalry. It's a, it's what we call an antebellum Good. rivalry Good. of the black woman and and the, white, and the woman. white woman and an internalized envy. Because of course we know that Esau envies Jacob in general. So the counterparts, the female counterparts, they're going to envy. That envy is going to be there. So that white woman has a lot of envy for that black woman that she she doesn't want to be honest about. And that um, comes out in a lot of passive aggressive ways. Right. And part of that narrative, again, the, the constant narrative that black women are just masculine baby mamas. Right. It, 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 it's, it's totally unfair because why everybody consistently, why every other woman or everybody wants to be a woman, a woman like, right. it's taken from her. Yeah, That's the first option. When my when my wife was in high school, a homosexual offered to pay to observe her and her friends in a close proximity so he could emulate, emulate them. Real life offer to pay for that. Straight up. Right? So, I mean, he if it was masculinity he was trying to, you know, if they're so masculine, he wouldn't need to take notes on right, that. Right, right, He's right. not trying to be masculine. Right, right, right. <laughs> That's but crazy. Here, let's get back to it. Ultimately, ultimately, <laughs> ultimately she too balanced. Yeah. Ultimately. Yeah, 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 no, ultimately, because, yeah. Because she got the, the style, she got the she, she got the femininity with, mm-hmm. with some type of style to exactly. it. Urban style. Uh, urban style to it. Huh? That's mm-hmm. all it is. That's all it is. It's just ur- uh, urban uh, style. Uh, of urban style of femininity, exactly. Community. You mean to tell me I, the only woman I could look forward in my life is a masculine woman that has kids by no, other men? No, That's man. what I have to no, look forward to? But I'm see? telling you, mm-hmm. mistakes made by black men mm-hmm. systemically gave rise to the conditions <laughs> that allowed her to be masculine. Pause it, pause it, pause it. Oh, Omar is spitting. He called it a systemic problem. Yeah. He's saying that black men have created a system. system of fucking up. And he's, he's not wrong. It's a systemic issue. Like, for and, real, and, though. Go ahead. No, go ahead. No, I was about to say, and, and that's what that meme is saying. That meme we started off with is a part of the systemic approach that men take it fucking up the brains of these women. Bro, and, and, and I'm I'm gonna tell you what's so cold, right? So one of my, my the, one of my high school sweethearts, um what was I? I think a senior. I was like a senior. Was I a senior? I started the yeah, yeah, that was like senior year, right? Okay. Senior, even though I dropped out, I was supposed to be a senior, right? And um, you know she was she was a little younger, but her brother was my age, and I was cool as a fan with her brother. Yeah, that was my nigga. And once word got that I was dealing with a sister, he took exception to it because of what what nigga know about me. You see what I'm saying? Now, granted, I wasn't trying to really play his sister at all. I really was trying to fuck with her. Right. 
but he really he was like, man, I know how you are. I know how you get down. He knew about certain things firsthand. Other thing, right. reputation. Right. So, just to be uh, accountable to where, even though you not you might not want to do every girl like that, you may not have intentions for every girl like that. Yeah. But I still can. Tr- I still. It's my own problem. Right. Because of my activity and the way I was doing and playing and, and things like that, right. that put a stain on me to where, yeah, to preserve my reputation to where I'm not the guy that you want your little sister to fuck with. Right, right, right. I'm not the, if you care about this girl, I, this ain't the nigga that you God. probably want to be fucking with. You right. see what I'm saying? God. And, and well, what was I doing that? Because of, of the, the, the example set by the older guys and exactly. what was, Champion and thought was cool. And, and claim cool. Notches yeah. on the belt. Come. Who got bitches? Come. Who got hoes? Come. Who's fucking bitches? Who breaking hearts? Who breaking? You know, who breaking hearts? Are Come. you the heartbreaker? Right. If you not the heartbreaker, right. nigga, right. then what are you? Right. So we doing this, and we, you know, uh, uh, and now when I want to be taken seriously, Come. when I'm really trying to do right by the girl. Oh no, nah, no, nah, I don't think. Can't trust your father, I, can I don't. I don't. I don't think Come. I can trust you. I fuck with you, nigga, Come. but I, I don't think you the nigga. For little uh-huh. sis, yeah. you see what I'm saying? So, yeah, not objectively, not 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 objectively, cut, cut. and True. retrospectively, I can go now at 32 can look back and say, yeah, yeah, I can understand why everything you know about you knew about me or heard about me, why I definitely wouldn't be the cut. nigga that you wanted with your little sis cut. for sure. Especially knowing like now that we we think about it, like we creatures of habit, so it more likely would have ended like that. And they would have fucked around and fucked you in his relationship up. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I'll, I'll so, so even through us, me and his, because I want, I want to say I probably dated his sister for six months. So after that, flash forward, yeah, we we probably, see, because that, that kind of, that fucked up our relationship for a while. Mm. But, you know, years later, when we got a little older, we was cool again. You see yeah. what I'm saying? I seen him in a very... uh interesting situation <laughs> uh but uh we, we go he but he saved he saved somebody life that night but uh uh yeah so we but we was cool then so when i seen him it was a situation where we was getting into a a, a large fight we was getting into a fight and um you know i seen him and he was kind of like it was cool that was my first time seeing him in a long time um and it was cool and then you know he seen me i went to grab something and he he grabbed a nigga i was finna get and uh you know he was like hey man this nigga, this nigga gonna kill you tonight man you gotta get the fuck up out of here so he said he saved me from doing some bullshit that night okay. mm-hmm. because you know we was cool of course down the line whatever water under the bridge but he definitely took exception to that but like i said if i would have had a better reputation um you know and and not to say whatever we was kids and you know we thinking like kids operating like kids so you know it's, it's really not all that big a deal right. but that just goes into feeding into this idea of right. Men ain't shit. Don't yeah. be messing with these boys. Right. This is what they do. Well, this is the behavior that is encouraged, that we're taught that if we don't do, we're ridiculed, we're ostracized yeah. if we're not participating exactly. in this type of behavior. Right. Exactly. This is the type of stuff that we have to we have to curve. You see what I'm saying? We we we, we have to to show our youth a better um a better way. Right. You know what I'm saying? What they should be doing. Hey, listen, you going through school, high school. Bro, just focus on doing what you need to do and achieve, you know, get graduating, things like that. Not because this is, again, not because a formal education is important. Right. Because it's not. But there are there are mm-hmm. benefits to having that. Okay. We're trying to work within this system and we're trying to make it work for us as best that we can. Right. So you having, you making these achievements is going to be helpful in you working it. Right. So. You know, we just got to arm these. It's just like I said, like with, with school, like with sending your kids to public school. They're not <laughs> teaching. The, the shit that they teaching your kids that's useful, cool. Math and whatever, whatever. You may not have the time to go teach your kids fucking addition, multiplication, subtraction, all that shit. The fundamentals of all of that. Right. Let them do it. Yeah. But the shit that counts, you already arm them. So when they hear the bullshit, they already know the bullshit. Okay. So now your kids come back. Yeah, they told me this bullshit in school. They already know better than that. Right. So you already know that they and have them to understand you're in school doing what you need to do because we are currently subject to a system. Right. So you have to make these certain marks in this system right. in order for you to advance in this system. Milestones. And, milestone, and that's cool. Just so you're productive. They're so. armed. Young brother, go to school. You're going to, hey, listen, you're going to talk to girls. You're going boom, boom, all this stuff. Get 
get your experience with with the opposite sex. You yeah. see what I'm saying during this time, and and learn what you can from them there. But what you need to do is focus on building yourself. Right. So when you come time to be ready to 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 lead a woman, to have a family, all your ducks are already in a motherfucking row. Right. This is the type of shit that really need to be getting still in niggas, man. And and when you when you get with that girl or girls, mm-hmm. let me make sure that's clear too. All right about. This this idea of the, of monogamy, that's out the window. You see what I'm saying? I mean, it's it's, it's the choice of each individual, realistically, right. right? If you want to be monogamous, if you want to be a polygynist, whatever you want to do, but that you know, teaching these brothers to get themselves in position and 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 get experience in position to where they can be the providers, the protectors, and the directors. Right. You know what I mean? Of their families, right. niggas ain't being told that, bro. Niggas exactly. is doing a bunch of bullshit and then looking up and going. Damn, I done did a bunch of bullshit. Some niggas chase have, money and yeah, all this shit. So, some niggas have an epiphany and go, okay, I need to take a look at what I did. Probably change it because uh, this shit ain't working. Ain't working. You know what I'm saying? And and also let young niggas know that the average one of y'all, it ain't gonna be to your mid twenties plus that you even truly ready. Yeah. To do what you to be who you need to be. God. God. <laughs> Nine times out of ten. Unless you really got a high school sweetheart, you coming out of high school and you just down with her God. and and, she, and and you 22, 23, and she still ain't gone nowhere. All right, well, maybe we can start this thing early. But 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 in general, you just ain't gonna be tired after you 25 that you God. really in position for real. It, you know? Or, or at least uh feeling like you in position. Feeling like you in yeah, position. God. Uh-huh. God. Anything else, nigga, you lying to yourself. Yeah, well, straight up. You lying. Unless you had like an inheritance uh-huh. or something that, like that. That helped you out, gave God. you that that just God. shot. God. Yeah, it's over with. Mm-hmm. You ain't really ready for that shit, dog. A man that you consider to be less than what he should be. And I'm telling you, black men are responsible for her being masculine because we have not helped her raise them children. I, I am and not. when I say help them raise them children, I don't mean you as the stepdad. No, yeah, yeah, I, I mean agree. you yeah, yeah. as an active member Definitely. in the community yes. where we go to every single parent black mother and say, how many sons you got to? How many sons you got to? Well, guess what? That's your son's big brother. That's your son's big brother. He taking him to school. He doing the homework. He gonna spend a couple hours with him every Saturday. He got his own kids too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But he gonna make time for you. Pause she it. She got masculine because she had to become masculine. Now that, that's, that's, that's a point too. Uh, y- y'all, are y'all familiar with the situation happened in Chicago? Mm-mm. Right, so uh, you had a, a, a woman got assaulted in the food spot. Oh yeah, come And then her son came smoke the dude, come right? 14 year old. Now, now, what's so cold is, of course, they dropped the charges, things of that nature. But what's so cold about that situation is, before a single punch was thrown by the man, right? There's people just standing around. Yeah, nobody doing nothing. And before the punch is thrown, you can see a man on the video, older brother, just walk his ass out the store. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like it ain't my business. Yeah, like it ain't my business. So right. even a situation like that, that man's life... Yeah. Could have not been taken if somebody would have had some intervention and calmed his dumb ass down. Right. What a nigga think? I ain't trying to get my ass whooped. Hey, will you a man? Will you rather her get her ass whooped? Right. Somebody oh, mama in front of her fourteen year old kid. Okay. Now it just so happens to where now he's armed, and now as a fourteen year old, he has to rise to the occasion and kill somebody for his mom for his mother, and he shouldn't have to be in that position, right? He shouldn't have to. I understand that you were in that position. You had to do what the fuck you had to do in that moment. Um, I don't. I don't feel like you had to kill the man though. Right. Punch her in the face. I don't feel like you had to kill him. Right. But mama you know, said kill him. Fuck. Mama said kill him though. You yeah. see what I'm saying? And that's a problem too, because I don't feel like the man should have been killed. Nah. Uh, I don't feel like what he did was worthy of death. We know the scriptures speak about equality, stripe for stripe, things of that nature. You shooting him that first shot didn't kill his ass. Yeah. Right? So he could have hit his ass. You know, he hit him in the arm, I think. And that in and of itself, once that fight shot go, that nigga ready to get up out of there anyway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let him get up out of there. He yeah. got You got him up off your mama. But at the same time, again, he's following the directions of his mother. Yeah, his right? brain ain't even developed enough to not think about going against his mama especially at all at all because that's all he got where's dad right exactly that's why it's (laughs) important to to call her son why she didn't call her husband where's 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 dad you see what i'm saying yeah where if dad was there 
that nigga wouldn't have thought for a second he yeah. talk and talk to her like that. Right. Exactly. Cause there's a man there. Right. You already know when there's a man around, it's just like, bro, at the at the let's let's deal with something called the mechanic. We all know about mechanics, mm -hmm. right? And women know I gotta bring a man. Any woman with sense knows when she goes to a mechanic, she needs to have a man with her. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because the mechanic is going to try some bullshit on you as soon as he sees right. a man, he knows yeah. he got to cut the bullshit Good. off. Good. Good. <laughs> At the mechanic, the motherfucker Good. knows this shit. Like, I, well, listen, Detroit, it was a sister I was, you know, you know, dealing with in Detroit. And her pops met this mechanic. Mm -hmm. And the mechanic happened to be in the truth down with um HOI. So she keep telling me the mechanic giving me the run around and run. I happen to be coming to Detroit. So she goes to the mechanic, she like, yeah man, you know, um, you know, Gorilla Hebrew finna come up here. You see what I'm saying? So she bring me up there. Yeah. <laughs> so when he see me, he give her a discount. You see what yeah. I'm saying? The job get done. Yeah. And he told me straight up, he said, I thought she was bullshitting. I, I didn't think she was for the pit. Yeah, I, I didn't think she, she, I didn't think she, Hebrew, she was fucking with you. You know what I'm saying? I thought she was bullshitting, but she let the nigga know. Like, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm finna bring him up, up here. You know, what I'm saying? 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 you know what I'm saying? And then what's cold is, yeah. you know, um, you know, we still cool. Relationship ain't the same, but... A few months ago, you know, she went back to him and she was having a few problems. You know what I mean? He was going kind of slow. Mm -hmm. You know, and she let me know. I said, wait, you just let me know. I'll, I'll, I'll call him. You know what I'm saying? If, yeah. you, if you need me to call him. Uh, but he ended up getting it together. You know what I mean? Yeah. Getting, getting it together. But just just that simple of the presence of a man right. can cut down. Just the presence. Just some interference. It, it can cut down yeah. on so much bullshit, but yeah. the reason that man thought he could even talk to that woman is because he just, he just knew in his heart yeah. that she had no hedge of protection. Yeah, exactly. That if he punched her in the mouth, he just he, he felt like he was going to knock her out in that damn store, and that was going to be the end of it. Mm -hmm. He didn't factor in she had a shooter in the cut, okay. mm -hmm. right, at all. He yeah. didn't factor that in at all. Okay. And that was ridiculous, but <laughs> I guarantee you, not only do we have a situation where we have that young boy kill that man, but I guarantee you that that man was raised in a single mother household. Right. Exactly. I guarantee you about him because the way he was acting yeah. was indicative of his lack of control of emotion. Yeah. You mean to tell me you're going to p knock a woman out yeah. in the store? Y'all are having a verbal altercation. Say one more thing. Say one more thing, I'm going to knock you out. First off, who even talks to a woman like that? Yeah. This this ain't a woman. This ain't even your girl. Yeah. This is some woman some that grown ass, some grown ass woman yeah. that you just ran into, bro. Hey, let her have it, man. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Whatever. You gonna punch, and then you that would the, the, the regret as soon as that shot fired. Yeah. He instantly regretted throwing that goddamn punch, <laughs> now didn't he? Good. But see, that's the issue. And, and, he, and he had a, a, a whole family. He didn't live. You see, a whole, a whole family he done yep. left. Now, they're out protesting yep. about his death. Yep. But then also, this is an issue of the principle of Leviticus 19 and 16, which is standing against the blood of your neighbor. Yep. First, when he's talking about threatening this woman, why is there no intervention? And why are niggas walking out? Niggas yeah. are walking out. Niggas don't want nothing to do with it. And this is what Umar is saying in stepping up. Okay, we know it systemically. We know we have a deficit in leadership and accountability in men's presence and men being men right. and women feeling secure and women feeling safe, etc. We know we have that def deficit. So you in those situations, even though you don't know this woman, it's your job to stand up in that situation. Because yeah. a lot of times, a lot of these dudes who are emboldened to do violence towards women are typically not emboldened to do that towards men. Exactly. So the simple male intervention, like I done had an argument on, on Clubhouse with different men um, and about intervention in um, domestic violence situations, right? And, you know, the women in the room and myself and a couple other dudes were basically saying, bro, it's as simple as when you see it. It's like, bro, you if you see something going on, if you see a nigga look like he getting ready to beat this girl ass or maybe he already hit, bro, sometimes something as simple as saying, bro, what are you doing? Yeah. Sometimes just that can snap the nigga out of it. Yeah. To make him feel like, oh, shit, like, yeah. I'm out and pop motherfuckers. God. Like, oh, fuck. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, sometimes you're not even going to run up, shoot right. the nigga, right. hit the nigga. Right. Sometimes just saying that, yeah. nigga, just wake his shit up like, oh, mm -hmm. shit, what the fuck am I doing, yeah. man? God damn. All right, let me get up out of here. Let me get the fuck. And nigga just get the fuck out of Nigga yeah. done seen that shit yeah. before, like, 
nigga kind of just come back to earth yeah. real quick on it where he got lost in his rage yeah. and come back to earth again it's it's not a justification but we're, we're just looking at how do we help this situation right now right right how do we solve this right now how do we diffuse, diffuse this how do we stop this woman from getting attacked right, right. sometimes just hey man hey bro what you doing cut it out bro. Hey, hey bro chill out yeah Damn, you see what I'm saying? Sometimes that's God. all it really take. God. That simple. Somebody could have said something to the man. Somebody could have jumped in front of him. Somebody could have whacked the one out. All right, look, hit me. You was going to hear, hit me. God. Hey, look, what, look, what if a nigga just took the hit too? Yeah. Yeah, fuck it, hit me. Fuck it, I'm going to just take it, bro. Yeah. They knock me out, bro. Now, now y'all fight, <laughs> but somebody's life saved. Right you know what I'm saying? Some, somebody, it, it, it's something that could be that yeah. simple, but this takes men in the community God. to step the fuck up. And I want to shout out Detroit because you have the organization out there in Detroit, New Era Detroit. Yeah. And if you've seen, mm, they had yeah, the shit yeah. where they showing up to gas stations with, with the sticks, yeah. just making sure all you the women okay, is man? straight. Yeah. Let me make sure a gas pump. You know see what, what I'm saying? saying? Yeah. Shit like that. You see what I'm saying? We, we got to see more of shit like that because, because we know that there are women that's vulnerable in these situations. Yeah. We know about kidnappings and, and right. sex trafficking, right. all that type of shit that be happening. At gas stations mm -hmm. in black communities, so there was they noticed that there was a problem and they they stepped in there. This is what Umar is talking about: a, a, a community action from the black man. Right, you know. God. Go ahead, press press play on that. No, it's in order to deal with the rape, the abuse, the domestic violence, the, the disappointments that men had in their life, and also raising those kids and have to take care of herself all at the same time. The black woman has been the be-all, in-all in our community for half of a century, and now we want to turn around and say because she didn't do it perfectly enough or remain feminine enough when she had to absorb our responsibilities plus her own, that's insensitive and disingenuous. I don't, I don't, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I can't. Pause I mean, it. I guess I, I, I that's, so, that, that's such a mic drop, bro. You ain't got You ain't got shit to say. Nigga, what the fuck you got to say? And he going back to I every time. Like, 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 it ain't never. It, it take like a hundred I, I, I before I get to you're right. Because <laughs> it ain't nothing he's saying wrong. It, 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 bro, and it's so. How can, you, how can you not respect this disposition? <laughs> Like, I don't get it, bro. How you? Now he about to go back to I, cuz. Why not just say, okay, what would you suggest? What should we do? Fuck, just just shut the fuck up and let this nigga give you game, bro. He clearly, I don't, he, uh, he up to something. We need to be solution, but he's not God, solution based. Damn, fool. He's not solution based. He's I he's, based. He's problem based. He what? only wants to identify problems. Yeah, he doesn't want to hear a fucking solution. This shit is crazy, bro. Not one time. I, eventually, you just gotta be like, you know what? Okay. Let's say you're right. Where we go from here? What do we do? And let him build. <laughs> now, yeah. now this can actually be a positive conversation. Exactly. And this Instead is, of fucking finding And this is the reason why he is like be winning their argument so much. Okay, okay. It's not that. Now what? Yeah. Because <laughs> nobody is has any plan. Right. What is it then? Right. What is it then? There's Cause. no plan. What do we do now? Yeah, right, What's right. your solution? What, what, what you say? What what's you say? the antithesis? Oh, we're reading out of context. What's the context? And they'd be like, nigga hit him with the, well, what's the context? I like, just know it's not what you saying. <laughs> you know what I mean? What it's just not what about, you nigga? said. Nigga, of course, For real. Hit your, ass hit on, your bitch ass. Hit your bitch ass down the street, nigga. Get up the block, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't tell you to get up the block, man. I was not doing my own. You know what, man? They interview over. You know what I mean? You niggas got it, bro. I'm, got it, I'm gone. Hey, y'all, subscribe. <laughs> Can't come consciousness, nigga. Get the fuck y'all, niggas. <laughs> <laughs> and dip the other niggas, man. It can't come <laughs> to combat that. Me, uh, this, she all, said all, me and her. I don't care about me yeah, and her. There you like, go, right there. there. Hold on, hold on. He said, "Give me something systemically to combat that." Yeah. Uh, 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 he starts out like a weed. Of a century, and now we want to turn around and say because she didn't do it perfectly enough or remain feminine enough when she had to absorb our responsibilities plus her own that's insensitive and disingenuous I, I don't, I don't yeah, believe yeah, I can't I, mean, I guess I, I do I, understand what I understand what you're saying I'm not taking you nothing back from that to tell me something that we've done systemically to combat that me, uh, this, you all, just said all, me and her I don't care about me yeah, and her yeah, but there's plenty women of and men mm -hmm. women and men as a group in right. the community you understand right. we gave birth to that 
You see? So you say she had a couple kids already because she got she met men. She probably thought they was good, some of them. They she left they, her. She knew they wasn't good. You don't know that, bro. She knew they wasn't good. You're right? making you know assumptions saying? about her. Would you make the same assumption if she was a white woman? Yes, I would. Yeah. So you say. No, 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 man, no, nah. no come on, man. Nah, come on, man. Listen, so you say, listen on, I, I, like I said, I, I feel like as a black we man, we don't hold them all accountable because black men date outside their race more than every other man put together. I said we, y'all three. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I but can't even, disprove even, that because I don't know you personally. Even that, but if we look at the numbers, black men marry black women at an 87 percent rate, where black women marry outside of their race, um, or they they marry outside at a 92 percent. Black women That's do not. No, no, no. You're no, no. Pa- pause it. No, 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 no. That that's no, 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 no. Niggas just be pulling that was a real stat. That wasn't a real stat. That wasn't a real stat. That wasn't a real stat. Black black women black women uh date. And marry interracially le- less than anybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> less than anybody else. I'm, I'm gonna be like, I know that, that. see, a lot of times you just gotta be like, show me that. Yeah. Like, where you get that <laughs> no, from? yeah, you gotta listen. Uh, that's why I learned. Shout out to the the Heifer Club on on on, a, on Clubhouse. Okay. They anytime they heard a stat, a nigga say a stat, they put, would it, on, put it on, put it on, put it on the watch And nigga, nigga did. Scrambling, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, just scrambling like Mike Vick. Nigga, yeah. like, oh, I did shit. it. Like, I had an uh, argument with somebody on, uh, the, I think it was the Helfers Club, where somebody pulled a stat, and I looked the stat up, and I was like, cuz, you just talking at your ass, cuz. Yeah. This shit not saying this shit, bro. Yeah. You just talking at your ass. Oh, yeah, here you go, right here, blackdemographic.com. <laughs> 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 nigga made up a whole website. Nigga, you nah, made up a whole stat. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Nah, but, but my mother do be. Warping the, the stats. The warping the stats. Guy, guy, nigga, guy. interpret. She be old. Repackaging. Damn, that's why I said, like, when I went to the abortion stand, I'm like, guy. oh, that's 2005. I need something. Guy, I, I, can't I can't go off of that. I can't go off of that. Yeah, then he went to a, it was a, I don't know what what website the nigga went to, but I went to the actual .gov site yeah. on the death of black people. It was like the death of black women. Mm. And that nigga was like, it was heart disease or some shit like that. Oh, oh, he, was like, nigga, he trying to say black women yeah, is overweight. That yeah, and I was like, mm-hmm. nigga, is 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 f- first off accidents. Mm-hmm. God. So you're God. wrong. And the second is murder. And then, yeah. but then the, then the third is heart disease. The, the, you don't the get average. Home. The average killer of Americans, period, is heart disease. Heart disease. Exactly. <laughs> and, that, and, and, and that's that, just an American. But that's thing, after huh? a certain age. Yeah. So we talking about from zero to eighteen. The number one is accident and murder. Right. Who's murdering them? Right. Ooh, black femicide. Let's not get into that. E- exactly. Not, no, listen, no, listen. Nah, when, the when they, gl- no, when like, they start the slamming divestors, you, the when the divestors slam you with black femicide, bro, nigga That's, ain't got nothing. You can't, look, what you gonna say? We was on that thing together, You, you but you was, you're like just listening in. Okay. But you had ended up coming off, and I was oh, in yeah, there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I See what I'm that, saying? That, yeah. And they was trying to, he's trying to say, no, nah, it's not, it's not y'all dying because of it. Y'all dying because of heart disease. And I was like, no, nigga. The first one is accidents. The mm-hmm. second one is murder. murder. Wow. You don't get to the number one heart disease until motherfuckers 35. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's older. And then, like, even, um, and even like uh, uh like breast cancer. Yeah. Exactly. Breast cancer kills white women way more than black women, but they say that 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 breast cancer is just more aggressive in black women. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? God. So it's you know the, you know how the stats go and how motherfuckers but when they you start getting shit, when you start getting the black femicide, bro. Yeah. Black man. Bro, come on, I don't man. even want to I listen that now, that shit I don't even want to do. Man, with. that shit's man, we're gonna have to one day. Oh, we gonna have to. Yeah. You know why? Because we're about accountability, God, God. and we're about biting God. the fuck down. <laughs> you know, we got to. We're about, so we're, about biting the, we're about biting the fuck down around God. here, bro. Oh, yeah. and if, if it's a fact, God. God. it's a fact. Niggas is killing their bitches, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's a bitches. fact, bro. Like Promotion last niggas, man. Yo, yo, overreacting and shit. All I do is just leave, just walk out, yeah, come back, up. defuse, you know, relax. Niggas be too emotional. That's what it boils down to, bro. Out the race more than black men. That's I'm not wrong. saying that, but the, the percentages black that women are off. That's black women have one of the highest, fastest growing interracial marriage rates. Mm-hmm. But her interracial well, marriage rate. No, he's, he's right. It's it's, it's growing. Right. It's yeah. the it's the highest growing one. Yeah. Now this is another. Well, why? Why? Why, why is it? Growing. Growing. No Remember, was you there that time I interviewed the black? Not interviewed, but I talked to that one sister at a a, a, a camp. The, and she was married to a white yes, man. Yes, I was there. I remember you was there. Yeah. I said, okay, so hold on. She was wearing all white. She was wearing all white. She just went out doing some weird shit. Yeah, she was doing some weird yeah. shit across the street. So she said she would, she's married to a white man. I said, okay, okay, boom. I said, so let me ask you. 
Did you have maybe negative experiences? Well, growing up around with the black men that you were exposed to, it was negative. Yes, they didn't value family. Yes, when you looked on the TV, the white man was the family man. He was the, and she literally said that they, their morals, yeah, they had they higher better morals, morals because this is what was being depicted to her versus she had with the TV white man, right, and then she had the black man in, in her, her life. life. Exactly. So the black man in her life didn't value the family. Right. Didn't wasn't didn't have high moral standards. Right. right? The white man on the TV did. So she went and sought that. Yeah. She admits this in the conversation. Okay. So this is why partially now again that white supremacy is 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 involved in in some of these decision making. Yes. The same way why certain black men are looking for white women. Right. There's a white supremacist aspect to that, right? People are looking for white supremacy, and we can't, we can never discredit that. But there are some black women that, and and this is what you'll notice too amongst divestors, girls interracially date. This is trending for, from what I've observed, I don't have a stat on it, but this is trending for a lot of black women in their thirties. Okay, what does this tell you? She didn't spend her whole life or a, a portion of her work. life trying to make it work. And then she just said, well, fuck it. Let me try something yeah, else. I'm and that lady was about 30 I'm, something. I'm, I'm running out yeah. of time. And a woman is on a clock. I said, my, yeah, my wife. The wall exists. Yeah, so. My wife, who's okay. who's getting, she's due in, within the next few weeks. She's 35. Okay. I, how old was she when I got with her? 31? 31. Okay. So, boom, we had a baby like right away, my son Jericho. And then we are talk about having, we needed to have a baby before she turned 35. Because that clock is real. Kay. So she got, I got a pregnant when she was 34, but she turned 35 a few months ago. Right. So we had to go to the specialist who deals with what they call a geriatric pre- pregnancy, 35 plus. Kay. And he, sa- he showed me the chart and said, listen, the peak time to have a baby starts at age 20. Yep. The Hebrew age when you become a, an adult. Kay. And ends at 35. This is the peak time for a woman. God. This is the peak time. Yeah. Before here and after here is where we see we see complications, God. birth defects, things like that exacerbate. God. He said the closer he said the closer you are to 20, the better. The closer you are to 35, that's when shit starts getting worse. And then once you cross 35, shit starts getting worse. Yeah. This doesn't guarantee, but the chances heighten dramatically versus in that 15 year window for a woman mm-hmm. right our window i mean we could say technically our window don't exist but they do say there's somewhat of a window for men too God. your older sperm is not as healthy they say as your younger but ours is older it goes into at least your right. early 40s God. you see what i'm saying so in understanding it, there's a very real clock and there's women who who are in tune with that clock and have have the the natural yearning for being a mother because a lot of women just yearn to be a mom God. right we we can observe this in the bible but even in this day and time yeah, i know women baby. that yearn i remember i talked to this one girl cap cap was dealing with her best friend he had put me on her best friend and um you know she said my i know my calling in life is to be a mother she was a career woman had all the shit together everything but she said my calling in life is to be a mother that's what's crazy. That what's crazy is uh, my baby mama feel like she like I, I feel like I'm meant to have a lot of babies. I want to have a lot of kids. See what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I'm I'm I'm, I'm po- I, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Cause she felt she like damn I'm really good at this. You know I'm what good. I'm saying? This is and and a lot of girls are right. Yeah. Every girl's not. Yeah. But a lot of girls are. Why? It's it's, it's nature. God. It's it's natural. So when understanding that it's nature and it's natural. That wall is there, and some of these women are. And again, I'm, we're not justifying. I'm not justifying it, but I'm logically and objectively analyzing right. the choice that's being made. And if they're saying I've had a I've had failed relationships with black men my whole life, I've seen nothing, or, or the majority of relationships I've seen within my people group have been failed, right. have been dysfunctional, have been unstable. Well, maybe the solution is go somewhere, go somewhere else, yeah. and then. When the black women come and give her the statistics, well, you know when black women marry white men, that's the least likely to end a divorce in this country. Statistically, she's being if she if she's being objective, then that's the, that's the choice. choice. See what I'm saying? God. Now is it? Oh fuck those bitches! Well, fuck them to a degree, yes. But also, How can you blame why don't we? Why aren't we actively doing what we need to do? To, to give these it. girls 
better choices. Right. Right. Why? Why? Why are we allowing arguably our greatest resource, natural resource that the Most High has given us, okay. be spoiled? Why are we letting somebody else take our resource? We've already been robbed of all of our resources. We don't control any of our. The only resource that we possibly he can get a grip the on yeah. is people. the black woman right yeah. now. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Because because here's the cold thing: they're talking about resources, and we have to be resourceful. Yeah. But when you have a woman. She's a whole resource. Exactly. <laughs> she's resourceful. Exactly. She's good at the things that you're not good at. Right. Right? So she's there to be the resources that you don't have. She's adding to you. All she's the, the mother of the earth, you basically. See what I'm saying? Straight up. So here we have this, and we're not actively trying to do what we need to do in order to get a hold of our resource and make sure that we're the ones that benefit from it. Right. Now we letting these motherfuckers run off. They done ran off with everything else. God. Now they done got us to where we letting them run off with our resource, our greatest resource, which is the one. That's nuts, bro. That's nuts as fuck. But instead, and what's your what what's your solution to that? Talk shit. Talk shit. <laughs> give give your honor to another. Yeah. You letting your honor just slip out. Just fucking. You can have that. Yeah. That's crazy. As a motherfucker. Your honor and your glory. Yeah. Honor and your glory. Yeah. <laughs> Four more minutes on this job. In comparison to what black men have been doing interracially for four or five decades. You understand? She don't even come close to what we're doing black, interracially. Black fathers are in a home more than any other group or race. Okay. What the fuck so they got to do? That has no value. It does have value, but we're going to put that up against the other statistic. Two-thirds of our kids are being raised by the women. Two-thirds of our kids are being raised by the women. And like I said... When I say being raised, I'm not saying it needs to be a father. I would like a father in that house. Yeah. But I know it's not enough of us to go around. Yeah. We are not even being Pause accountable. That. To but the but e- even that, I, I, I disagree with that. Disagree. There, there is enough of us to go around because we're dealing with polygyny. Okay. And he talks about poly and things like that as well. Okay. There's certainly enough of us to go around. Okay. Um, it just, it, it needs to be enough people that are, but see, but that, that too, see, because. You got to add poly to the system. Your, the poly has to be a part of the system God. because poly has always been a part of the natural system of black and indigenous people. Exactly. That's always been the program. Exactly. So we can't deviate from that. We have to return back to that program right. without any question because it's never not been there. <laughs> it ain't been there for the Native American. It ain't been there for the West African ever. God. You and women are making babies yeah, with, with the irresponsible men that we didn't raise correctly. That's bullshit. <laughs> All right. Straight That's up. Wimp as weak man shit. Take responsibility for our shit. Stop scapegoating yeah. them. Yeah, I could agree. I could agree to that. All I'm saying is look at all we can be doing better, man. Oh, half, the, half the black boys in the fourth grade can't read. What black men doing about that systemically? Not, not enough. I know I, what I, I'm I, doing about it. I'm I building agree. a school for it. <laughs> yeah. But systemically, as black men, what are we doing about that? Nothing. Black, black, <laughs> black boys are the most unemployed teenager in America. What black men doing about that? Not See, the not rate not rate you kept talking about. Mm-hmm. Pause it. Pause it. Pause right it. Before. Pause it. And, and that's a cut because all you ni- hey, because all you niggas are entrepreneurs. Right. If all of y'all are entrepreneurs, then all of y'all can give jobs. Right. Right. <laughs> let them young niggas come on and do some shit behind yeah. the camera, nigga. Hey, let them learn that. Hey, come. Nope. Hey, nope. You nope. see what I'm saying? Just talking just shit. Talking he shit. talking about mentoring, bro. I did. I just want to call him on his shit, though, bro. Like, <laughs> what, what the fuck? Are you, what, what do you mean by mentor? Yeah, Who are you yeah, mentoring? Yeah, he mentor? Did, he could did that. You know Dr. Umar knew that. This nigga touched me. My name mentor. Shit. <laughs> yeah, the first thing he came to y'all mentor. Oh, and mentor. then the fact that you bringing it to somebody that prompt, that mean, that this is like me trying to come to you on some shit yeah. about building the camp. Uh-huh. <laughs> I, I, I do this. <laughs> nigga, don't you not see what the fuck I done done? <laughs> God. Like that's retarded I, mean, yeah. I mentor I do this You don't do shit Compared <laughs> to me shit. nigga yeah, Nigga my whole life Is evolved around this shit <laughs> This, shit this what you know me Why you pay You yeah, pay you know me, me to do this shit Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know you me for about? this okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> These niggas here man. Crazy as hell Go This ahead, shit man. wild I ain't gonna lie to you This shit wild and they still like, and it, it's so crazy because y'all ain't looking at these niggas. Fa- I'm watching these niggas. I, 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 I just seen it. Nigga, the nigga like this. Look, like, the reason why I'm so mad. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use one of them for the thumbnail though. Hey, he nigga. Go out too, bro, tag these niggas. Look, man. he over there taking pictures and laughing at me. How mad I am. I'm <laughs> leaning forward. I said, mad, like, girl. Man, I'm like, could he nigga die? He's nigga soft. Yeah. I'm ready to fight. Who I said he called? He said, "That's some wimp, weak ass shit, you nigga." 
doing, straight man. up. Just nigga, so. Hey, hey, he's nigga. standing on it, cuz. Yeah, it's bro. three of them. One of them. How y'all not see what the fuck I'm saying, <laughs> nigga? Hey, yeah, niggas, it's clear. You niggas just trying to argue, bro. I'm telling you, I hit him with a man. King Kong College, you niggas subscribe. Mm-hmm. Like, like, share, you know what I mean? Support the school, man. You know. All the I'm, shit, all the and stuff. Then, then dipped. That's how you know, because, yeah, like, three me. niggas. <laughs> it's just, like, he's so <laughs> composed and like, comfortable man, talking to three niggas like that. Like, yeah. you niggas soft. You niggas yeah, individuals. You not nothing. You suck. <laughs> you ain't doing nothing but talking this shit. shit. Is not impressive. You niggas say you're not <laughs> impressive. Fuck your podcast. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck your podcast you know, what is a staff God. label God. And a fucking record God. And what God. three of y'all God. niggas Gonna do God. 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 Nothing yeah. Straight yeah. up but, Pussy But just talk your ass off <laughs> When I leave this motherfucker <laughs> God, Y'all ain't got shit to say right now And this shit got what Like 600,000 uh, Nah yeah, got 62 I think No the, the whole The whole interview Got like 600,000 Nah that whole interview Got damn near 600 Ah for real Yeah that whole I'm interview That whole gonna... interview Got 600 God. But nah nah go, go Finish the joint then he did that. Ended up with one when we should have made sure there were none. Like I said, we all got cho- we all got choices. Just like if I choose to live a lifestyle that, that could, I can't. But that's deal part with that. of choices. No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so okay, it's 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 a part of choices, right? Okay. So that's what what would lead somebody to make that choice? Right. Choices are made. So so people evaluate things, and then they make the choices. What. <sighs> Why is it even an option to be like this? Right. Why is not being all you can be as a man for your for your community, for your people, for your woman, for your children, for your women, for your children? Why is that even an option? Why is there examples of that that all of us can observably see and that a path that we all can take that we see paved? Why is that a paved path? <laughs> God. A well paid. I'm talking about it's paved in gold, damn and near. These in our niggas community. love statistics, but they don't understand probability. Right. <laughs> see that? No. And, and the probability. Why? Yeah. Why is the probability? Why do we see it okay. statistically so much higher? Right. Because there's a higher probability because the, the way has been paved. Yeah. yeah, like they like they never went to the math class, and, and there's ten items. Right. Two of them yellow, five of them red. And you got three of them blue. What is the probability of you grabbing a yellow? Right. They act like they never dealt with that, but they love bringing up statistics as if none of this is based on probability. Uh, yeah. Ultimately. There's a higher probability of her reaching in that jar, grabbing that. Somebody who ain't shit. Come on, uh, bro. Uh, uh, than a nigga uh, nerd like you. Because ultimately, you're just <laughs> you're a, a fucking geek. nerd. Uh, you're a fucking you're a geek. geek. Uh, yeah. <laughs> God. You're a fucking nerd God. That's on YouTube so Debating fat. bitches Years For years God. No but look And here the cold part they made a living out of it No and And, and here the, you know, But here the cold part Right Here's the one of the coldest parts about it You debate bitches all day The moment this man Sitting in front of you Nigga you're destroyed that's, that's what I'm saying. Completely <laughs> destroyed. That's what I'm saying. Like, to realize There's not I'm, a point I'm, that I'm, he I'm, did I'm not thinking, concede to. I promise, bro. I'm, I was thinking about this shit. <laughs> I'm like, bro, we, I, after this live reaction, bro, these niggas ain't really hitting on shit. I, they not, these niggas not hitting on shit, fool. Oh, and they bro. views ain't hitting you're, on you're, shit. You're not dope if you can confound a woman, bro. Yeah, bro. We know they ass can't argue for yeah, real. Do you know, know they their arguments no are bullshit? We know, yeah, it's literally in their mind that they don't. Head. They're illogical. Like yeah. if you know this, yeah, bro. you know this. So when you talk to a logical yes, human being, about them. Then they're illogical. God. You're correct. God. You're talking to somebody logical here, and, it just and shows, you omit it logic. <laughs> and it just shows how bitch made these niggas God, are. Cool. There you go. Bring that. That's up. all. These niggas are bitch made. God. Because they can't deal with a logical human wanna, being. Wanna, they conceded to every point God. and tried to argue another point and always try to hold the women accountable for staying on topic. God, God, Let's God. talk about it. Let's do all this. This a nigga look just like Kasayad. <laughs> they be interviewing bitches doing the same thing. Uh-huh. Having bitches crying everything. Yeah. And like, why are you so emotional? D- nigga, you let you, you let the world up. know that women are emotional God. and men are logical. Yeah. So why are you trying to Okay Then in the moment Like like y'all say Dr. Umar come You get destroyed Now you would been What the bitch is Yeah need to have Illogical this man. Umar yeah. we willing to have Legitimate conversations About the uh, The advancement 
and the upliftment of the so-called black and Hispanic What you call African mm-hmm. people. Right. You know we for them. I understand that. That's a fact. Because these niggas not. <laughs> these niggas have no clue where to go with the brain that was in front of them. Nigga, a whole brain. Just wasting brain matter. Mm-hmm. Trying to talk to these niggas, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fucking <laughs> hey, man. Wasting it, bro. Making him just talk his ass off. Did we make these problems on our own, or was there some, some systemics involved? It was systemics. Okay. In 1970, they shut down the factories. They took out the industrial building jobs. Uh, 1980, they dropped off the crack and the AIDS. 1990, the Bill Clinton crime bill. There's systemic factors at play. You totally divorce your analysis from any systemic factors at all. You ain't mentioned one. You can be talking about her and Pookie and Ravy with the kids. You ain't say shit about the systemics. That's exactly what white folks want you to do. Because That's what white I, folks want you to I'm do. I'm saying Ignore that I have made... what I've done to your women and scapegoat her. Because that's what she's doing to you. She's ignoring what the system did to you. And she's going to scapegoat you. And, and We're they, both and... scapegoating each other. Okay. That's fair. That's your fair. analysis is feeding the gender wars. Another concede. Pause it. No, and he's, your, your your analysis is is feeding the gender wars, and it has to yeah. because your channel only exists. You can't get money if there's Without not gender exactly. wars. <laughs> exactly, and that and that's more like you're saying that's more uh, appealing to you. The gender war is more appealing to you than actual uh, the dis- You fell in love with the dysfunction. Yeah, ultimately, you you oh you didn't became so okay with dysfunction. You like fuck trying to fix it. You ain't I want to run it. A lot of these niggas be single though, God. bro. No, 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 but see, no, but and, 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 and no, no, but but that'd be the thing too. Yeah. People are looking for relationship advice so, with motherfuckers with no relationship. Single, girl. I'm not finna listen to no motherfucker that's single God. about oh relationships God. and dating. God. Unless they single for a reason. Y'all ain't had no successful date yet. Legitimate Damn. Reason. God. <laughs> Unless they got a legitimate reason. Like God. so, somebody that came on the comment board and explained that about Umar. I guess Umar has stated why he's not. Currently, um, yeah, 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 with somebody, I think he said something about, um, let me, I, I want to go to because I don't want to misquote it, and I definitely want to, and I think, I definitely think Umar's reason is valid, and I, and just for the record, we didn't really have a problem with him not him being single in the first place. We just know about people's perspective and perception of it. Yeah, um, people are asking questions. People are definitely God. asking questions. Where is this at? Right, you find it. You want me to keep playing? Uh, I Are should be able to find it pretty fast. Because right, I don't got a lot of comments on here. I don't think. Yeah, nah. I, I, this is strange. This shit, I don't know. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, right here, yeah. So the brother said, um, I think Umar said he didn't get married yet. 144. Yeah, 144. Uh, he said, I think Umar didn't uh, said he didn't get married yet because he may be afraid of marrying an undercover agent, either CIA or FBI. He said a few women he was very suspicious about who were who, who they were really. He has spoken about being focused on the goal of liberation of Africans instead of finding love at the moment. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, you know, I, I, can, okay. I, I can get down. I ain't got no problem with that. Okay. At all. A couple of all of those are reasonable emotions. Yeah, and I I love what he said about Sukiyana. It ain't gonna play that on there, but do mm-hmm. ask a question about Sukiyana because she had put in a song that uh, if she fuck with a nigga, basically it's gonna be Doctor Umar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Doctor Umar was like, "Bro, I'd be open to you know what I'm saying right. change her life, she, but she has to change this about her, her right. image and everything yeah. else." Yeah. And and I, what I would do is I wasn't showing her I would all that millions of followers that she got. Is going to come back to my purpose that we need to, come. you know what I'm saying? Do exactly. Come. Exactly. He in, the, he in the time was turning hoes into housewives. That's right. right. And we all are. Come. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind us holding the men account, right? Yeah. But when we going to hold the system accountable as well. That's right. And if we're going to hold the system accountable, that also means we got to make our own systems too. Black men have not been manly in quite some time mm. when it comes to raising how would you suggest that black men take on the role of leadership, with, especially with, when there's an attack on yeah, black masculinity, without women willing to listen to us? You get what I'm saying? How do we prove pause it? Pa- pa- I want to understand who are the women that aren't willing to listen. I mean, maybe you niggas Everyone. don't get listened yeah. to. <laughs> I, said, I ain't never had a woman Come not on. listen. Cause just, Come on, listen. niggas talking about just. Just women are not willing to listen. Oh, I know, because you niggas, not, you, you just talking shit. God. Why she want to listen to you talk shit? She wouldn't God. want to. I never had a woman that not listen. 
Never. Come on, man. I never had a woman in all this. Are you kidding me? Right. I, I didn't have a woman that not My listen, attitude is not listening main, to them. Yeah, it wasn't the main. Well, everybody, type, yeah, everybody's I mean, subject to not listen. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes. You know yeah, what I'm I saying? Mean, but we just talking about in general. Yeah, just, just, in general. Just don't want to hear shit you got to say. And, and, and it's then, crazy. And, and then, but 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 okay. So here's the question: <laughs> Why would a woman not want to listen to you? Yeah. Goes back to a couple weeks because you're not a leader. Because you're not a leader. She doesn't listen to you because that you're not a is. leader. You've that not you've is. not demonstrated that she can trust your yeah. direction. Yeah. <laughs> so that's probably why she's not listening. Right. Now again, sometimes women allow their feelings to overtake and maybe won't listen in certain instances. Right. But we're talking about overall. And on top of this, women not listening fuck a relationship. Just in general. Yeah. Do women listen to you? Right. In general, can you get women to listen to you? Listen. In general, not, you know, absent a romantic situation. Yeah. You should be able to. If you can't, I would say because maybe right. they could smell you're not a leader. Bro. Yeah. Like a pit bull smell. You can't even get niggas to follow you for You know what I'm saying? No, no, nobody follows you. You're not a leader. Nobody follows you. <laughs> we almost there, bro. Take care of the boys. You want the women back? Take care of these damn boys. They run in the hood, killing people at will, flunking out of school. Following the lead of the gangster rappers. There's a whole bunch of stuff we can do mm -hmm. that ain't got nothing to do with the women. Boys and men. Do you understand? Deal with the boys and the men. Leave her out of it and go straight to the boys. Yeah. Get her respect back. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Give That's them it. jobs. Give them education. Give them training. Give them your time. Well, watch this. Because check this life. out. Look at Cardi B. Look at Carisha. Look at all these people who got kids. That uh, look at uh, what's the girl name? Glitter Gloss from Memphis. They promote this certain lifestyle, but yet they said, "Nah, I'm not having it for my kids." Mm -hmm. So if a nigga come in and be like, "Hey, hey, little bro, I'm finna show you the ropes on how to do this and do that," yeah, they gonna respect it yeah. as a man, and that's that's and them saying stuff like that proves it. Yeah, that it's like, a fact. hey. I'm I'm about this city girl lifestyle, but no, nah, my daughter can't be in there. My 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 son, he's not gonna be raised like Lil King and stuff right, like that. Right. But niggas swear up and down. It's they up. gonna be illogical and make their money the way they gonna do. Okay. It's up to that nigga to make sure. Hey, forget what your mama talking about. Hey, you need to do this. You need to do that. Right. And and lead her in a way yeah. to make her want to stop all this shit. Okay. So, I mean, what he's saying is valid, bro. The women even express it. Yeah, and that's why I say exactly that. Fuck what she want. Fuck what she... She don't even know what she want. Fuck what she, exactly. Fuck what she want. Fuck what Good she fun. say. It's about what she react to, bro. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what I'm saying. It's about... She She gonna react to that nigga coming in and putting his foot down. Now nah, this is how it's gonna be. Get with it. I'm out this motherfucker. Mm -hmm. You gonna miss out on a good man. It's great like that. And she ain't trying to miss out on no good man, bro. Nine mm -hmm. out of ten. Mm -hmm. And if she is, then fuck it. Then fuck it. Fuck you, Tom, bro. And then we get mad at her for ending up with one later in life. It's for the not. Like I said, the get, product and get mad for her for ending up consuming the product. She could consume whatever she wants. I'm just saying, as a black man, it's not about her consuming whatever she wants, brother. Because if we're trying to fix the black community, everybody and everything matters. It's and not an Pause it. You're an Pause it. So again, that that that's that that's a great point. It's, it's, it's consuming. So so, for example, um, when I'm when I moved uh, to Decatur, right? I got you. We 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 gonna we gonna we gonna, we gonna, we gonna bring it home. Uh, when I moved to Decatur, Counter Road is the main strip in Decatur, right? What I noticed very early from being there is the lack of food options, right? And the few the drive throughs that are on the on counter road are you know always piled up that's all you can consume that's the, that's your options there's not even a walmart on counter road you see what i'm saying that the grocery stores that exist on counter road are atrocious yeah. they look like they ain't been remodeled or or, or had the floors wiped since 1978 Damn, you get all the way it, oh, you, you, gotta, you have to go all the way down to where the damn so, passover was get in Past it. No, yeah, no, it's not even one over there. It's Damn. when you pass that. It's past that that's memorial. Crazy. So so when you when you that's that's so you only can consume what is there. 
Right. If you want it. The 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 the, way, the play where you gonna have to travel if you want some organic food, some good food, a farmers market. None of that is accessible in your general vicinity. Right. So when we're talking about she consumed what she chose to consume, but what were her options to consume? How far were her options of a better choice? That's a good analogy. See what I'm saying? They weren't far. Well, you know what's on damn counter roll? McDonald's, KFC, Wings. Checkers, yeah. Taco Bell. And Wendy's is far down that motherfucker too. It's one a, a million wing spots, a million Chinese owned wing spots. Right. You see what I'm saying? Red Lobster, and that's it. And a whole bunch of gas. And a whole bunch of gas. Crispy this, crunchy chicken. This, this crispy. That's that's all she has. Good. So what is she going to consume? Good. Right. What is the prob? The probability is that's what she is going to consume. Right. The probability is not she's going to go out of her way right. to go find the much better options, the healthier options. Right. No, she's going to consume what is in her community. Especially when she's tired. Especially when she's tired. Especially when she didn't win, been at work. God. Now she got to figure it out. Yeah. Now this is what I got. So, yes, yeah, she consumed what she chose, but her choice was predicated upon what her options were. Right. And her options were limited because the community has been raising – <laughs> a bunch of bush, a bunch of pookies and ray rays. So now, I mean, she's just trying to find the best that she can I mean, out of that. So of pookie, course, at least be a good pookie. Yeah, you know I'm saying at least yeah, something. At least shine a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> they said, nigga, oh, <sighs> nigga need man. To man. You need to man up. It's man up Monday. Daily wrap up crew. You niggas need to man up for sure. You know, y'all niggas are done. <laughs> right, yeah. Y'all got to get it together. Somebody got to get these reactions. Yeah. And then y'all niggas. went straight back to the blueprint of, of, of what's tearing us down. That's crazy. Debating these bitches. That's the only way you can win. Because Dr. Umar virally destroyed your ass. But I'm not debating with women. I'm not debating. <laughs> I said the same thing. I just said this. A few hours ago. <laughs> you will not catch me debating no woman. What the bro, fuck bro, I look like bro, debating a it, woman, bro? It's not even fair. <laughs> it's not fair, but it's a waste of fucking time. What yeah. the fuck I'm going to debate you a woman You're going to cut her and confound her, and she just going to, like... She's going to do what they did. Bro, it, it, it's cold, because I remember I remember um, years ago, it's man, crazy. there was a, in the conscious community, there was a sister, and shout out to the sister, much love to the sister, very intelligent sister, Dr. Maat, right? And um, they wanted her to debate a Hebrew Israelite. Hmm. So they came to you know uh, to Zariak and myself first, and you already know we like, bro. I'm not finna debate no woman, bro. <laughs> like, nah. You know Have she you heard those debates though. You know what I'm saying with well, what with them women, the women on the uh, Sanetta <laughs> TV. Oh my god, bro. This shit be so out yeah, of whack. C- c- come <laughs> on, like, come on. Just talking. Come on. Just talking, bro. No, listen. And there's a woman. They trying to win argument. Th- there's an Israelite woman that call herself debating. I'm talking about she's one of the most laughable debaters. And a shout out to the sister, uh, uh, you know, beautiful sister. But uh, <laughs> yeah, she t- she that, got destroyed. That's that's debating is not your calling whatsoever. That's not. I'm talking about. She said something. I remember she had said something to Unc one time, and she tried to get Unc to like agree to something, and it was like. No. <laughs> it was so the way she formulated it, it was like, no. <laughs> you do you do recognize that it says this. No, I don't. I don't give a fuck about that as a matter of fact. I know you feel like you made a point. That is not a point. You tried to do that, but you didn't do it. That ain't like, what are we doing? So I'm not debating women, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 ridiculous. We lead them. That's it. What he say? What, what he say? Ain't nothing but construction and instruction That's going it. on around here. Construction and instruction. That's God damn it. it. It's all I got for you. That's like, and these niggas, leadership. Them bitch. niggas. <laughs> them niggas. They not constructive. God. By any is. stretch of the imagination. That's, that's the problem. Right. right. Constructive bone in their body. Yeah. But uh, we gonna give all praise to the Most High, man. Man, yeah. the fuck up. Man, the man fuck, the fuck up. up. All praise. Shalom.